Hello. <clears throat> uh, sorry. Uh-oh. It looks like the saturation's all fucked up. Let me fix that. Did I fix it? I think that fixed it. It looks like just quick ending and restarting the stream actually fixes that error. So I'll start watching for it. If in the future you guys see me streaming and the saturation is like really bad, where my hair is like pitch black and my skin is dark white, let me know. I can fix that pretty easily apparently. But um, my cough, I was coughing because I got, I, is it Logan Paul's energy drink? Prime? This shit, it tastes like someone fucking put artificial sweetener in a, a Bud Light Zero. This does not taste like an energy drink. This kind of tastes like crap. Yeah, th this shit do not taste good. But I'm not wasteful. I spent $3 on this shit. So I wanted to try it. Ah. What a ah, lovely aftertaste. Ugh. Gives me duh, shivers. Anyways, hi, Sunvi. Where's Lynn? Patience. Also, let's check something. I messed with the code. Let's see if you guys are allowed to exist. No, it's still empty. I don't get it. Why is it still empty? Why does it not let me... The chat box is still broken. Let me see if I can fix this. We're an illusion. Oh, sorry, I didn't know. Hey, Ren. Hey, everybody. I see everyone stopping and how's it going? I'm sorry Streamlabs, I'm not using you, you're garbage. Just dropping in to say the EPOS tape. Yeah, they're really good. I, I really liked uh, Paul Hayek's one a lot. I think I liked his the most. Actually, I don't know if I've heard uh, Silence Alters one yet. Have I? No, oh, I haven't. I haven't heard hers yet. <laughs> Bed party, didn't he? <laughs> what are you going to do about it? Actually, I know what you're going to do about it. Never mind. I'm sorry. I apologize. Please don't draw that. Don't. I didn't consent. Isn't there someone you're forgetting to ask? I consent. I consent. I don't. <laughs> Please don't. Liz. Um. Nah, it's it's not working. Ah, uh, oh well. I'm gonna give up. I don't want to spend too long messing with this. Apparently the old way doesn't work anymore, which is why it's bugging out. I don't know why they broke it. Oh, I disappeared. Oh, there I am. I'm back. 
All right. All right, jump into it. Let me make sure this isn't going to be too loud, because it might be really loud. I'm warning you guys, this might end up being really loud. Just saying. Okay, that's not bad. Thought that was going to be much worse. There it is. Also, yesterday, after uh, after I finished streaming, I tried messing with the controller layout uh, for Armored Core to see how different it is using the joystick instead of the D-pad. It's a world of difference. That's easy mode. Uh-oh. Is my bad controller layout still here? Can I skip? No? I don't wanna wait through this. There we go. I think it still has the bad controller layout. Yeah, it does. Shit. I gotta, I gotta fix that. Mobby. I don't know what you're talking about. I definitely have a PS1 and physical copies of all these games. You're crazy. You know that? You're absolutely wacky. Completely crazy. I gotta rebind everything. Crazy! That was crazy once. They put me in a room. A rubber room with rats. That's making me crazy. Crazy! That was crazy once. They locked me in a room. A rubber room. A rubber room with rats. That's making me crazy. Crazy! I was crazy once. They locked me in a room. A rubber room. A rubber room with rats. Rats make me crazy. Okay. Alright, everything should be good now. Ayo, hey Dakota, how goes it? Getting the game open. Apparently, my, uh... Awful key bindings, or not key bindings, but uh, button layout I set up after stream last night uh, was still on. So when I tried to open up the game, it wouldn't let me. Let the intrusive thoughts win as a healer today. Sounds fun. <laughs> Can I skip this now? SMH, it really is from software. It still isn't working. What the hell is going on? Why is it not working?
Um, yeah, I'm rebinding everything again. Okay. All right, now it's working. Yeah, PSM or PS1 settings are so strange, huh? No, it still had I had the uh controller set up wrong. That's on me. Person below must run around in the Olympics, live on television, in the nude, and beat up the contestants. I already do that. Aha, funny sex. Okay. Hello, lady. Alright, she has nothing to say to me. Okay. So I can now walk across the bridge of water, right? Ah, oh, shit. I just used all my healing potions. Whoops. What does this do? Basically. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm re catching my. Uh, breath here. I'm trying to remember. Okay, so Fujin makes it so that when I sprint, I don't lose. I, I can immediately do stuff afterwards. But I'm using the Aquarian boots so I can walk across this. That's right. Alright. Well. Let's go at it. Forgot about how bad PS1's texture fidget is. Um. Okay, I made it over here. Now what? Hello? I got the boots. Where's the other path? Lock in the water? No, it's gonna kill me. Drink the water. I would if I could, but I can't. You won't let me. Slowly taking that guy down from a range with my magic. I unless he just never dies. Got shot in the back. Am I supposed to hit something? Ow! Or is there another bridge? One of these is an invisible path. I don't believe that for a second. You are so full of shit. Listen to your mod? No. The fact that you're vouching for him is all the more reason to not listen to him. Can't get on the other side of that. When have you lied to me? You guys have lied to me a lot.
I swear to God, the first time I read through that poem, I thought you said, you're right, I'm full of shit because I eat it. And I was like, that is a weird flex, but okay. Unfortunately, I can't get past this thing. Blah, blah, blah. Shut up. I have the boots. Why won't you talk to me, lady? Can I open this now? No? Okay. Speak to me, woman. Speak to me. I got the boots. I have the boots that you demanded. Uh, I I don't know where to change the bed. Ah, sorry. Yawn. What is that? A skeleton? I don't know what else to do. What if I switch boots while I'm here? I can only see the path while I'm wearing the boots. Which I'm assuming means I will only be able to walk across it if I'm wearing the boots. There was... The lady said some way to rotate the bridge. Times I have to hit this guy from the die. Is it really going to take all my mana just to kill one of these guys? It is. Well, honestly, this shit isn't working. I'm fully convinced I could draw two circles with dots and have you come running to Thoroughly convinced. She'll pop right out of the screen. She won't tell me. Wait. Conversation. I can check conversation with people. That's right. They added this in. So, I'm the caretaker of this lake. No one has crossed here for over 10 years. Not since the solid bridge was destroyed. There's a water bridge that was erected by our letters. <laughs> No one can cross the water bridge without the Aquarian boots, and thus far no one has been worthy of this gift. And years ago, I was forced to destroy the ancient stone bridge that spanned our beautiful lake. 
I did it to prevent any demons from crossing to the side. I can change the location of the water bridge by turning the dial in this room. So he who crosses by Orlando's permission will have no need of stone bridges anyways. The path you have taken is called the Path of Poison. The path was made by Arletta, and I believe the boots are still there. I will open this gate if you'll give me the medicinal herb. Once inside, you can change the location of the bridge for yourself. The medicinal herb. What medicinal herb? The medicinal herb? That wasn't it. That's not it. Is it illegal? Depends. Oh, sorry, I keep yawning. It depends. It depends on the state. So, in order to get the bridge to open, I have to open that. In order to open that, I have to get in there. She will only let me get in there if I bring her, quote, the medicinal herb. Is that something you have, sir? No. What medicinal herb? Is it just talking about a medicinal herb? It's so big. So vague. Maybe you just need to go get normal herbs. Ooh, got him with the fifth of these nuts. Oh shit. <laughs> I keep wanting to press circle to interact with things because that was the button to interact with things in Armored Core. Here, I gotta turn down my heater. It's too hot in here. It's getting hot in here. Alright, herb, medicinal herb. I need a medicinal herb. Does anyone have a medicinal herb for me? <laughs> clown, clown of the chat. Truly an honor. Hey, Lynn. What'd you say? You see, Icarus found the tree of the Dragon King plant. That's where everything started. We don't know exactly what kind of power he left behind, but we do know that we do have the key to obtain it. No, nothing. Well, I got some herbs. The other idea is I should check the map while I'm in the lake. My ankles.
Well, I keep I keep doing it. I keep passively clicking circle instead of X. Addicted to coffee again, yeah? I've never been addicted to coffee or caffeine. I consider myself pretty lucky for that. This is what she wants. Oh, I will open the gate. That's all it. That's all I needed. Each of these is a different layout. I'll try this one first. Why not? You kicked coffee for three years drinking. Oh yeah? Yeah, I, I do drink a lot of energy drinks. Ah, uh, yeah, I get that. I definitely have times where I drink my energy drinks and I... It just isn't enough. It's probably not good. You probably shouldn't drink that much caffeine. These are really hard to kill. That just means they give good loot, right? Surely whittle these guys down. You missed idiot. Take a really long time to die. Skeleton.
I gotta dodge the guy behind me while still killing this guy in front of me. Groot. <laughs> Do kind of look like it. Let's see. Are any of these guys actually defending anything worth getting? I got another crystal flask, hell yeah. It's a good thing I killed that guy. I'm only gamer for emotional damage. I haven't really tried gamer steps yet. I am such an idiot, guys. Ugh, I'm such an idiot. Did I really just do that? I just pressed select trying to open the map. Select isn't the map in this game. Select is the potion. I just popped all my potions. That's okay, there's water nearby. I should be able to retop off. Skeleton. What the hell? Three of those now. What did I just pick up? Power fruit. What the hell does this do? This is the fruit of a tree which contains. Huh. Alright, well, we'll check over here. Safe point. Did I accidentally go the right way regarding the aqua bridge the first tr try? If I did, cool. If I didn't, eh. The fact that there's a save point makes me think I did. Skeleton. Ah! Sorry, I got scared.
Alright, I didn't get poisoned by that guy's ranch attack. I feel like I kind of skipped it. I feel like maybe there was more that was supposed to be done there. Uh, let's open the map. Yeah, it looks like I went the right way the first time. <laughs> We'll go back in time. I want to see what's down here. Oh. Lagged a little bit there. This place seems very dank. I wonder if this is the earth magic place. I still haven't gotten the water magic. So I should probably get the water magic. I remember candy cigarettes. I remember tons of dumb kids thinking that they look so badass with their candy cigarettes. Sour liquid drop candy? Uh, you're talking about uh, the... What are you trying to talk about? I'm trying to remember what it's called. I know exactly what you're talking about. It had like the... The... Uh, little squeezy thing. Like the rubbery button that you could press. And if you pressed it, it would... It had like a nozzle that you could spray it all over the candy. I know what you're talking about. I can't remember what it's called. My mind keeps wanting to say baby bottle pop, but that was a very different thing. Was wait, was it baby bottle pop? No. Maybe? No, it wasn't. No, Baby Bottle Pop was the- That's right, the one that made it look like a binky. What fucking was it? I can't remember what it was called. Yeah, you're, you're right. Baby Bottle Pop did have a... Alright, so she said give her the bloodstone. Go ahead, please. Now the moonstone. Will you part with this precious stone? Only then will the gate open to you. Shut up! Fucking extorting me out of house and home. Juicy drop pop. That's right. I knew it had pop in it, but I couldn't remember what pop. Hey, can I co get up there, please? No? Okay, I can't. I can't. I don't get to walk. I don't get to walk forward, I guess. Smack me off the side. Thanks, game. I, I loved the part where I was able to walk forward. That was my favorite part of the game. Fucking snooze fest, man. My guy's hitbox is 13 times larger than he is. I remember Toxic Waste Candy. I'm the biggest fan of Toxic Waste.
Yeah, warheads. I remember warheads. Those ones would literally burn off your taste buds. You're not even exaggerating a little bit. Th that shit would hurt if you ever had like more than one of them. Honey buns? I don't remember honey buns. Stand to settle them for 10 years. What did you have too many of them? I know I did that with uh, I'm trying to remember what it was. Oscar, are you talking about the little gummies? I remember kids thinking that the little gummy, like. Little gummy pizza slice and a little tiny gummy hot dog. But everybody knows the good little gummies was the Krabby Patties. God damn. I could eat a hundred of those things. Can you not knock me off the edge? Can I get up the slope, please, you jackass? I'm killing you just to split you. I could run past, but I'm killing you because of your bullshit. Give me XP, you little shit. Yeah, give me your money. It's great about 25 of them. Making them sold out the school and ate all of them before we... I think you were telling me that. Yeah, you ate too many of them. I did that with a cereal, but I can't remember what cereal it was. It might have been Golden Grams. I just remember I couldn't eat it for years afterwards because I, I just had so much of it. But I also partially blame my dad. These guys hurt when they hit you. And they have really long range. The tracking is really good. And I hate them. And they take so many hits to kill. Like that guy behind me is hitting me. He's barely spawned in. My god, I was not next to it on my screen. What are these hitboxes? Wind magic up. Fucking die, please. Thank you. Jesus Christ. Hey! It actually was here! That's funny. After all that, I looked at honey, but I would start gagging and sometimes. That happened with me with, um. Sausage on pizza. I'll explain it after the cutscene.
How much Alexander has been looking forward to this day. I now bestow upon you the power of water. Wait, isn't this the, the same chick that was just extorting me for items? Why didn't you just give it to me right away, you ass? Just give me the right bridge and give me the water bridge. What a jerk. You have begun climbing the great staircase of fate. You cannot come down now. Alexander and I will be watching over you. Okay. What the? What? Wait. Wait. Was, was that? Was that Noel? Wait. Is that my mom? She was very specific that she and Alexander would be watching over me. And then she like went to heaven or something, I don't know. Bigger plot. I don't think she's scheming against me. Is she down here still? No, she's gone. Do I have full access to this now? I do. So I was able to skip out on having to grab a bunch of that extra shit. I'm gonna hit up all those islands. And then I'm going to Test her like she tests you. Go! Kill the big bad guy and then I will trust you. Give me crystal flasks. G gimme gimme. Give me the crystal. The crystal flask. The crystal flask. Give it to me now. I want. Me want. Me big want. Gimme. I'm gonna go... Actually, no, I'm not. I just healed her fine. I was going to run all the way over to the piss fountain next to Lynn, but I just saved. We're fine. I want to fill all my flasks. There was a guy who was selling a flask. Was it the grave robber? Or the grave tender? I guess, because technically he wasn't robbing the graves, but he was robbing the graves. I don't know. I guess I get some normal water, not piss water. Well, now I have three blue health potions. Lots of this shit all around. Give me my stamina back so I can strike this plant. it. Coffee is making forever. Taking forever to make. Like I said, man, I'm drinking this this prime and this shit tastes like ass. It tastes awful and I do not feel very good. It's like doing the opposite of energizing me. I feel like I'm crashing. tastes a bit. It does. It tastes awful. I know people said that they didn't like it, but I, I didn't think it was this bad. It, it I think it, it's either Logan or Jake Paul's energy drink. I think it's Logan. It's like props to them for trying to make a, a zero calorie, no sugar, uh, vegan, gluten free uh, energy drink. 
but it tastes like ass. So no one's gonna want to drink it. I know I don't want to drink it, no matter how healthy it is. It tastes like garbage. Locked. What do you mean, locked? Okay. I thought all the green chests were sealed, and then I unsealed them. The metal waifu tumbler. I bought the uh, collector's pack for the... Uh, the recently announced, like just a couple days ago, announced uh, Cyberpunk Edge Runners flavor G Fuel. I'm really excited to try it. So I'm gonna get a, a nice shaker that has Lucy and David on it. I'm very excited for it. I think I need one more. I think it was the red one that lets me go all the way to... No, it was the blue one. There we go. Resident Evil soda that came in that twist virus bottle. Oh! I think I know what you're talking about. Ugh. Keep drinking it. I really should stop. I should just throw this can away. I do have a Monster Zero in the other room. Or not a Monster Zero, but the Ultra, the white. <laughs> Sasha's the best character. <laughs> they are. I, I love the uh, Monster Ultra, the zero sugar stuff. They taste so good for having no sugar. I don't know how they do it. The two that are really good, I'm, I'm, I'm that guy. I like the white monsters. But then I also like the, uh, I've been recently drinking a lot of the Tropical Punch one. Shit's actually really good. I like it a lot. I'm kind of surprised I like it as much as I do. I used to like the green ones, but I don't really like the green ones anymore. Don't drink Monster. I used to hate Monster. But then again, I never had, uh, I never had the... Ultras, I always would try the basic normal monster. I hate the taste and feeling of basic normal monster energy drinks. If you're gonna get one, Bone, I recommend getting one of the Ultra Zeros. They're really good. White's my favorite flavor. Hands down. It's their, Ultra Zero is their uh, line that has no sugar and really low calories. And it, it has a lot of, it actually has a shitload of vitamins in it, which is why I have been drinking it a lot. They put a lot of stuff in it. I don't think I've ever had red line. You know what is really big over here where I live and I hate it? Bang. Bang energy drinks. God, I despise bang energy drinks. They taste like fucking garbage. And I used to have a manager at like my first job who would drink like eight of them a day. I hope he died. That guy was a bitch. And honestly, that's a skill skill issue. 
Bang went bankrupt? Really? How did I never hear about this? No, 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 screw that guy. He broke the law. I should have sued him. I had two broken ankles. And he uh, tried to force me to not use crutches while working. And then I talked to his boss and I was like, Ayo, he tried to make me walk on broken ankles even though I have proper documentation and showed him it. And legally I have to be given uh, the ability to work without it. Uh... If you, if you don't do anything about it, I'm going to sue you guys. And he, he got called up to the office. And here, I got to sneeze. <coughs> he got called up to the office and he came out pouting like a little four-year-old little bitch. Dude was like about to hit 60 and he acted like he's six. And then he tried to get my friend who was another manager. Ooh, nice try. To break the law for him because he got reprimanded and told not to. And then my friend laughed in his face. Skill issue deserved, honestly. You jackass. I could I could have I could have gotten him fired. Ow. Two trapped chests in a row. I could have gotten fu him fired. I should have gotten him fired. I probably could have gotten his job. Guy was a bitch. Everybody hated him. I'm pretty sure he was just related to the manager, which is the only reason he ever got the job in the first place, because the man had no credentials or skills. Locked. Can I open it with the key? Nope, wrong key. Also, is the game too quiet? Wrong key. I kind of got to rely on you guys to know whether or not it's too quiet. Suing who for what? Uh, one of my old bosses for making me work uh, on my feet after I broke both my ankles and was given documentation from my doctor saying that I am legally required to be given something to sit on while working. Has declared bankruptcy. Holy shit. Skill issue. Deserved. Honestly. It's a trap. Is every chest here a trap? You think it's fine? Okay. As long as you think it's fine. As long as no one's saying, It's too quiet, I can't hear it. No trap? Really? No trap? Got a bloodstone. Secret door. No secret doors. I'm gonna keep checking. Keep checking for secret doors. Sounds like it's still around. They just declared bankruptcy. I figured. I was like, I'm pretty sure I'd notice if nobody, if, if it like didn't exist anymore. Okay. Well, let's, let's keep exploring this dungeon. I just need one more magic type and then I'll have all the magic types. That's a yikes. Get out of the way, skeleton. Vital pharmaceutical shit. Yeah, it sounds like it. It, it. They they had it fucking everywhere, but it was like a backwater fucking energy drink. The only people I ever saw drinking it were like the country kids back in the town I grew up in. That's a villain organization name if I've ever heard of one. It's that's not even a joke. That actually sounds like it would be a villain. Like at least the morally questionable uh, 
antagonist, not necessarily a villain. Okay, well that was a full circle. Sounds like Umbrella Corps making energy drinks. Pretty much. I fucking hated bang bang little bit of bang though. It tasted like ass. And it's like always on sale. Always on sale. Every week. What is this? Is this something I can use the truth glass on? Path of Thieves. Mages and merchants use this underground. Ah, oh, no, this is just about the area. Whoa, he doing crazy jumps. I don't like this depression in the ground. I feel like it's a trap. Oh, got an herb. Mountain Dew Rise is pretty good. Varying results, but good. Really? I haven't really heard anybody talking about it. You know what I loved that they don't have anymore? And I'm pissed they don't have anymore because I've wanted... Mountain Dew Black Label is one of the best canned drinks I have ever drank in my entire life. And they discontinued it. And I wanted to mix it. Like, I wanted to mix it with something like fucking vodka or something because i imagine it would be a great like just a great drink and they fucking discontinued it i was pissed i loved mountain dew black label so much that shit was delicious what's this do gold ring good to know i actually really did love black label Ooh. Bird ID. Ow. Discontinued drinks are discontinued for a reason. The reason they discontinued it is because it was... It was one of those just kind of one-off... Uh, it was one of those kind of one-off marketing schemes where they just make a new flavor but instead of just adding it to the list of flavors they try to act like it's its own thing it was like blackberry it was basically blackberry mountain dew and it was really really good the white white label was also pretty good But now, now their whole thing is the Mountain Dew Rise. This place is eerie. There's no music. Not like the other areas. Which one is discontinued? Mountain Dew Black Label. Kind of watered down in flavor from when it came out. It also depends. It depends on where you get it from. I know the Taco Bell in my town is really, really bad about cleaning out their uh, drink dispensers. So it's a coin toss. Either they recently cleaned out the drink dispenser and it tastes great, or they have like stale city water that they mixed with the. F to, to make the Baja Blast in the dispenser and it tastes like ass. There is no in-between. Either it's really good or it's complete garbage. Same with every other drink, though. My town has real nasty city water. If you let it sit around. Voodoo? I think I remember hearing about it, but I, don't, I never tried it. Uh, a dead body. Give me that moonstone. Dead. This place is called the Path of Thieves. Oh, okay. I imagine it's gonna have a lot of secrets, but also a shitload of traps. Empty? What's empty? Wait, what's empty? 
What did I just click on that said empty? Did I just interact with something in the wall? Baja Blast was originally made due to stunners. I'm not too surprised. Stoners are some of the best people to market snacks and drinks to. That's just good marketing. Yeah, I'm actually really happy. They, my, uh, legislation in my state just the other day actually full on legalized weed. Full on. Not even like, oh, you can have this. They, they just straight up decriminalized it. Where I live. And the reason that's nice is because I take Delta 8 for sleep. And now, I don't have to worry about getting in trouble if I have to take, like, a drug test at work. Because now, legally, I can't get in trouble for it. I'm allowed to take my medication and not have to go through 17,000 different mental and physical gymnastic hoops just to be able to keep my job if I end up damaging something. So that's like a massive weight off my chest. I'm very happy about it. Because I was actually worried. Delta 8, which is what I take, which isn't just straight up weed, uh, shows up the same as Delta 9 does, which is why it was so dangerous. Still be illegal at my job. Yeah, that's true. If, if certain... Uh, there are certain jobs, certain fields, certain buildings and shit... That you can't do it anyways. Uh, no matter what. Thankfully, my job is not one of those. I work at a store owned by a corporate enterprise. And as such, corporate tends to side or err on the side of law and doesn't really try to impose anything. Which is. Oh! Where the fuck did you come from? Which is good and bad. It's really good because anytime the law says anything, you could usually you usually don't have to worry about it. They're like, yeah, we have our regulation, but if the law says you can do something, we're not going to fight you with it because it'll cost too much for our legal teams. Even if we win, it'll cost too much for our legal teams to deal with it. So, like, I, I got approved for my FMLA hours. And ever since then, corporate has completely left me alone. Like I was saying a couple days ago, that uh, someone at my job got fired. Oh my god. What the hell was that? That was loud. Did I set off a trap? I'll, I'll heal up. What was I saying? Oh yeah. Um, they were like, okay, we have all these hours now. That we need people to work. And they were planning on dumping all the hours on me. And I was able to sit down with, with them and with corporate and just be like, no, that's what's going on. I was like, no, I don't want to work this day. I don't want to work earlier than this time. I don't want to work earlier than this time. I don't want to do this. And they just had to smile and nod because legally there's nothing they can do about it. And that was one of the most freeing feelings in the world was that I have a feeling these are going to like lift up and crush me if I'm not careful. I'm getting a whole bunch of these keys. Alright. I got three ways I can... Four ways I could go. Not three ways. Never mind. I'm misreading the map. So the last couple days actually have been really nice for me. Despite the fact that I have to work a whole bunch more. Like, I'm I'm being given protection. Like, if this was before I went blind, and my, my co-worker got fired like this, you guys wouldn't see me. I'd be opening and closing almost every single day. And it would be hell. I would hate it. I'd physically deteriorate like I was before. It would be awful. But now, because I went blind and got diagnosed with like a crippling medical condition now suddenly I'm free it's crazy how you have to literally have your livelihood ruined in order to be treated like a human being let's 
Because, like, medically, I have so many limitations. Because... That's a lot of headless guys. Because of the uh, insomnia I have from the steroid treatment I had to go through in order to get my vision back, uh, I have, like, really crippling insomnia. That's why every once in a while you guys see I'll stream really, really late. It's not because I'm feeling like doing an endurance stream. It's because I literally can't sleep and I know it. I know when I'm not going to be able to sleep. To top it off... Oh, I'm, I went to a different area. Don't want to do that yet. I don't have the earth magic yet. On top of having like crippling insomnia, I can't work more than a certain amount of hours in a week. Because if I physically push myself, I'll probably end up in a wheelchair. On top of that, because of the insomnia and the medication I'm on, I sleep so heavily that I am like required to have a 12 hour period of every day where I don't work. Because if they try to schedule me within that 12 hour period, I'm not going to be able to show up. I'm going to be asleep. I can't be woken up. People have tried to wake me up. When I'm on all my medication, I don't wake up. Period. Oh, save point, thank god. It's where... You're from, what you speak, and who you know before they listen to you. Yeah. I get that. Let's see, what else? Top of not being able to work certain chunks of time. I can only work so many hours a week. I already said that. Um... I'm also, like, pre-approved for six months of medical leave if I have, like, a really bad event happen. So, like, if I go blind again, or if I end up in a wheelchair, I'm pre-approved for all that. Because of FMLA, I was able to get my hands on a lot of, oh no, on a lot of hours where... Uh, if I end up having a problem, I can miss work without having any major problems happen. For example, if my doctor says, hey, uh, we're doing an MRI on you today, I can just be like, okay. And corporate is now in a position where they'll leave me alone if that happens because they understand that there's nothing I can do about it. Like if I, if I go blind... Oh, God, this is so annoying. Can't move. Exactly. Corporate really doesn't want to catch legal hands. And for good reason. I'm, I'm dead. I, I don't get to move. Court, once you have the proper paperwork filled out, like, once you get, like, uh, once you get whatever your state or country's equivalent C of FMLA is, uh, once you get paperwork from them signed that says you have a medical condition and legally the, they as a company are required to provide the compensation uh, directed by the doctor, Corporate entities will leave you the fuck alone because they don't want legal anything. It is so easy for somebody to win a legal case when they are diagnosed with an uncontrollable illness that was not brought on to them by themselves. Like my condition specifically is uh, multiple sclerosis. Because multiple sclerosis... There's no knowledge of it. It is, I am completely, I, I am in, not in any way liable. And as such, I, my job is protected. If they found, like, there are ways around it. If they could come up with a reason to fire me, then they could. But since I actually do my job, I have, I don't act outside of the hours designated. And corporate is happy with my performance. Like, they don't have legal grounds to fire me. Now, if they caught me stealing, 
if I was late, if uh, I wasn't working the proper hours, if I was mistreating customers, if I was doing any of the negative stuff, it'd be a different story, but I'm not. I'm a good noodle. I do my job well, I do my job right, I do my job at the right time periods, and I act within the boundaries set by my uh, employers and my doctor and legislation in my area. Like, corporate can't do a thing about it. There's nothing they can do about it. And they risk very heavy legal uh, negatives and penalties if they were to try and try and pull some shit. And just that threat of legal shit alone. Speaking from my experience, just be a good noodle is grounds for someone to hate you. That's true, but I don't give a fuck. I, I couldn't care less. I don't care if my bosses like me. I don't care if my coworkers like me. I don't care if the customers and the contractors and shit that I work with like me. I can't give a fuck. I know I did my job right. They got a problem with that. They can suck my dick. Don't care. Didn't ask. Ow. Skill issue, exactly. They got a problem with me? It sounds like a personal problem. Did I ask? Yep, cope seethe mauled, exactly. But no, it also is very much uh, helpful that my, my managers are really... They're smart, and they're very, very helpful. And the reason they're smart and very, very helpful is because they know I do my job well. And so long as I do my job well, they're happy. As long as they're happy, they don't try any shit. It's mutual. It's a mutual thing. They're happy with the job I do. I'm happy with the job I'm expected to do. I get paid. They get what they need done. They don't mind if I occasionally have to not show up to work for MRIs and stuff. It, they, they would rather me occasionally not be there. Then hire some jackass who doesn't know how to do the job as well as I do. I'm very much replaceable, but I'm making it very hard for them to consider me replaceable because I do my job really well. I, I work a job that doesn't really involve interaction with people. I'm not going to go too in-depth about what my job is because, well, I don't want to dox myself. But... My job very much does not require me interacting with people very often. Cool, got that. My country things suck and they have to do with work. I finally continue to have to be in a lawsuit for a case that was filed against a company in 2017. Yeah, legal stuff with uh, corporate entities, they take years to resolve. And they have long-standing negative impacts, which is why I don't want to go into any legal uh, problems. But if I were to be fired for a reason that's protected, I would have lawyers calling me. What you guys don't understand is this isn't just a medical condition. Multiple sclerosis is like nobody has ever lost a lawsuit after being fired uh, over multiple sclerosis related stuff because it is completely uncontrollable. As far as legality is concerned, so many people have won cases with uh, the terms being multiple sclerosis because it's such a rare uh, disorder that it has sent precedent for so much like corporate entities will actively avoid any they will bend over backwards for people who get the diagnosis because they know that corporate entities don't win against it it is completely uncontrollable it is completely sporadic it is entirely job hindering it is entirely like life threatening on top of that there is actually no grounds to believe that anything a person does can cause 
both flare-ups and actual problems with multiple sclerosis in the first place. So like, there, I, I cannot list all the shit about it. It is such a protected condition in a court of law, at least in the United States of America. So as far as uh, crippling uh, negative life, uh, quality of life inducing, as much of a negative quality of life inducing disorder as it is, as far as disorders go, I got a good one. Multiple sclerosis sounds similar to my condition. Yeah, it's a, uh, oh, magic circle. That guy has a staff. That's cool. Uh, what it is, is, uh, one, they don't know if it's actually a disease or a disorder. So it's called a disease, even though they don't actually know what it is. Yeah, that's one way to look at it. Exactly. I gotta, I gotta look at the bright side. What it is, is my immune system can't differentiate my, uh, brain matter from invasive, uh, entities. So, at, completely at fucking random. My white blood cells will just decide, ah, this chunk of my brain is evil. I'm going to kill it. And the, my white blood cells will strip the fat sheath off of my, uh, it, it will completely strip the fat sheath of myelin off of my nerve in my brain. There's a guy up there. And what that does specifically, I'm just checking down here for loot. Looks like there isn't any. What that does specifically is once the fat tissue is stripped, that nerve stops working. And depending on what nerve it is, it can really fuck with you. Uh, the, the I got lucky, quote unquote, and I lost my vision. I went blind. My optic nerve got stripped, and I completely lost all centralized sight. I could not see things outside of my peripheral vision. Uh, and what that what that means is, since it's completely well, the reason I was lucky. I should finish that uh, train of thought. The reason I was lucky is because it could have been anything else. And if it was anything else, it could have taken years. It can take a really long time for someone to be diagnosed with multiple sclerosis. But because I lost my vision, they were able to figure it out instantly. Within the first day of me being in, they knew it was something with my brain and started doing MRIs. If it was anything else, it could have taken a long ass time. I got lucky. I have a very, very, very early on uh, diagnosis. Like, being diagnosed with multiple sclerosis in your early 20s is not normal. People usually that get diagnosed in their 40s or 50s after decades of negative effects that you don't know it was because of multiple sclerosis. And because it's so early on, the earlier on you catch it, usually the easier you can manage it. And what I have to do in order to... In order to be fine, I have to limit my immune system. I'm on immunosuppressants. Uh, so the, the whole idea is like, there is no cure. There is no cause. Not anyone that any doctors or anybody have, have been able to figure out. It is not linked to any other disorders. Uh, there are a few random weird things involved with it that people have noticed, but none of it like connects back to the diagnosis. So the, sorry about that, my body's kind of freaking out. So the, um, the only way that they can deal with it, oh, where the fuck am I showing up? The only way that they can deal with it is to remove the immune system. If there's no immune system, it can't attack me. That's the only mindset they have. So, ooh. So they're, uh, I, I basically got to pick my poison. They were like, how do you want to limit your immune system? Keep in mind, the more uh, removed your immune system is, the better off you are. So I ultimately opted for a medication called uh, Mazent or Siphonomod. And what it does is I take it every day. It suppresses my uh, white blood cells and stores them in my lymph nodes. So I, I effectively, if you were to draw my blood right now and test it, I have no white blood cells. 
Not 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 a single one. I have virtually no white blood cells in my in my bloodstream right now. But if I get sick, I stop taking the meds and my immune system comes back. So it's safer in that sense than other stuff. The only thing is it's really expensive and I have to take it every single day. But there's a slew of other things that come with it too. And like, as far as, and this is going back to people having one cases uh, while having uh, multiple sclerosis in the past, as far as uh, choice goes, like legally, I don't have a choice. I have to limit my immune system. So any negatives that come about because of my immune system being suppressed uh, is completely legally protected. So like, since I have no immune system, one, I can't work in close contact with people because I, I'll, you know, get sick and die. Don't want that. Um. Ow! Okay. Traps just keep shoving me back. Never mind. I tried to rush past and it kept pushing it, me back. Two, uh, my highest risk is cancer. My highest risk is cancer. Uh, specifically skin cancer. So I actually have to completely cover my entire body anytime I go outside. I can't be in the sunlight at all. Yeah, I saw, I saw you brought that in. I don't know, I don't really like the monster juices. We were talking about this earlier. You're okay. I like the zero ultras more. <coughs> yeah, it's a little, a little rough. Damn, that's horrible, yeah. TLDR, I'm kind of, I'm kind of rambling at this point. TLDR, my immune system is trying to kill me and I have to suppress it. But thankfully, it's a disorder that is really protected. And on top of that, my bosses have been really helpful with it. I have had overall a pretty positive experience with it. You know, despite the fact that I was told like, like even though my immune system is suppressed, problems can still happen and most likely will happen later on in my life. I will most definitely at some point in my life, it's virtually a 100% chance that I'm gonna end up in a wheelchair at some point. But it can be cured. Any negative effects I have can be healed through steroid treatment. So like, it could be worse. I, I guess that's what I'm ultimately trying to say. Until somebody comes up with a miracle medication that makes my immune system stop targeting my own brain, I'm going to have negative things but I'm legally protected and there are ways to fix it. Like when I went blind. When I went blind, they strapped me to a bed. They did a spinal tap, which is where they take uh, fluid out of your spine, uh, bone marrow out of your spine, so that they can check it. Um, and then they absolutely blasted me with steroids and uh, caffeine. They fucking kicked my ass with it and that's putting it lightly and sure enough within six months my vision was back completely my vision is back to perfect <coughs> and i haven't had any negatives happen since i haven't had a single problem but i am like immune suppressed so i still gotta deal with that i full on like it's funny you bring that up phone I'm probably not gonna be like Daredevil when I get older, but I, I walk around in like a Power Ranger suit because I can't be in the sun. I'm, I'm, my hands are, I, I'm wearing fingerless gloves, like this is in character. Every square inch of my body besides my fingertips is covered by UV resistant uh, cloth. Yep, Black Power Ranger, pretty much. Every square inch of me is covered. And I, I have like a full helmet that I wear. That's because I, I, I the, the helmet has two uses. Uh, on, top, on top of like me not being able to be in the sun so it like protects my face, I do have light sensitivity since going blind. That is the only lasting negative thing is I, that's right, this room exists. 
I, uh... What was I saying? I, I, I have, like, really bad light sensitivity problems. So at work, like, I went to my doctor. I'm like, I have paperwork that says I can wear sunglasses at work. But I know corporate doesn't like that. Even if it's medical, uh, what would you prefer? I can wear sunglasses, and then you have to deal with other associates complaining because they want to wear sunglasses too. Or I can wear this whole ass face shield, like full head covered balaclava face shield combo. And I'll look fucking ridiculous, but people won't look at me and go, I want to wear sunglasses. And my boss was like, you know what? Wear the, wear the full face shield. I'd prefer that. Corporate would probably prefer it too. I'm like, okay, I'll wear the full face shield. And yeah, that that's the story of why I'm a nightmare at work because I scare the shit out of children. Every child I see, one of three things happens. Either one, they see me and become stunned. Like terrified stunned. Two, they see me and start scream crying, which is usually what happens. Like, I'll just walk into an aisle. I'll be like, okay, I need to grab this and this and this and this and this for this person's online order. And I'll just hear, ah! I, I can't, I can't, I can't copy the scream. I'll wake up the people that I live with. But, ah! Ah! They'll start screaming and crying and pointing and wailing. Or they'll see me and think I'm an astronaut. There is no in-between. It's one or. Ugh, I want to kill this big guy. Oh, he hurts. Is it fun scaring the shit out of children? Not as much as you might think it is. But, you know, I gotta do what I gotta do. I have a feeling when I kill the big guy, the little things are gonna stop spawning. Whoa! Whoa, he dropped the armor! Yeah, they disappeared. I was right. I, I'm getting really distracted. Okay, I'm sorry. Give me a second. I'm gonna have to recollect my thoughts. I was talking while fighting a monster and I got really confused. I lost where I was at. <laughs> Charles and Xavier in an insurgency. Well, the truth is, eventually... Eventually, my, uh... My multiple sclerosis will most likely take a turn for the worst. And when it does, there won't really be a point to take the medication anymore. Because, like, I'm I'm pretty much fucked. Once it gets to the point where I'm just repeatedly getting fucked over, I'm going to stop limiting my immune system and then I can actually enjoy sunlight again. But until then, I, I'm perfectly fine wearing a full outfit. The outfit that I wear, it looks like a biker helmet. And every single old person I walk by uh, points at me and goes, Darth Vader. Every single one. Without fail. None of them have come up with anything even remotely, like, original. Every single one. Darth Vader. Hey, Darth Vader. Hey, hey, hey look, it's Darth Vader. Every single fucking, like, without fail. Every one. If they're over 20, they say Darth Vader. It's... It's not a sometimes, every time. <laughs> I'm not even upset about being called Darth Vader. I'm perfectly fine with being Darth Vader. You know what I'm upset about? I'm upset that they can't come up with anything... ...original. At least come up with something, man. Alright, fire armor. Orladdin, the great archmage, gave this armor to his disciple, Thedek, the fire mage. The armor will protect against fire magic. Cool. I don't know if that's better than what I have. Or not. Okay. Okay. I gotta stop. 
I wandered mindlessly while talking. Where the fuck am I? <laughs> there is a path in the bottom right. There are two towns I can go to. There are traps in the northwest. Hmm. Yeah, I, I do that all the time. I'm the kind of person where I'll be talking to friends in like Elden Ring or Dark Souls or World of Warcraft or something. I'm a chronic circle runner. Chronic circle runner. Chronic circle runner. I will run in circles in one spot while talking for hours if I can. Always have been that way. The amount of laps I've ran around like the Trade District in Stormwind or around Firelink Shrine is ridiculous. Yeah, TLDR. I have a life-changing uh, negative disorder, but the truth is I'm making the best of it. We're gonna keep it that way. Ow! Oh god, I'm getting hit three times over. Fine, fuck you, I'm just brute forcing it. God, so annoying. Okay. Whoa, what the hell are you? What the hell? I didn't even piece together that that's a different monster. You missed, idiot. They're shooting rupees at me. Ah! Oh god, the rupees hurt! Oh god, the rupees hurt! Um... I don't have any heals, I might be dead. Yeah. Those guys take so much to kill, what the hell? I them like 15 times! Is it my weapon? Is my weapon not all that great? Maybe I'm not supposed to go there yet. Maybe I'm supposed to hit that town in the southwest first. Oh no. Uh, I gotta go back and kill that big guy again. Oh well. No, 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 no. Where do I go? Forward and then to the left, okay. I want to kill this guy as fast as possible. You missed, fucker. Oh, God. Little lag there as things despawned. I did get kind of lucky though when I first went blind. Uh, the reason I'm lucky is if I had just gone blind. Yeah, just standalone, gone blind. Any other time, me coming back to work will fully suit it up, having to wear my UV-resistant balaclava, 
and my full face shield and my UV. You know how uh, when girls get like manicures and shit, they got to put their nails underneath a heat lamp and that heat lamp uses like really high power UV light. So they have to wear like UV resistant thing gloves that like barely don't cover the finger tips that's basically what i have to wear at all times i also have to wear like a uv resistant long sleeve undershirt a uv resistant long or uh under pant like but, but it's it's like a really thin breathable uh pair of long johns basically it's like tights that I gotta wear under my pants. And then a balaclava that covers almost all my face. With a big face shield that blocks it. Any other time, I'd be looked at like I was crazy for wearing all that stuff. I'd have old people looking at me like I'm the weirdest thing they've ever seen. But I'm lucky. And I went blind during COVID. And since I went blind during COVID, it had become regular. Like, like it had become a regular thing to wear a face mask and stuff. So all the people seeing me, they like, they were like, oh yeah, he's just wearing a face mask. It's completely normal. Everybody does that. He's just wearing more than people normally do. So I actually got really lucky that I went blind right in the middle of COVID because wearing masks had become normalized. So I got to skip a whole bunch of stigma because of it. T please tell me I wear a black t-shirt with that. My usual outfit is I will wear, if it's hot out, I wear a sleeveless jacket over the long sleeve, like a sleeveless workout jacket, and then like baggy shorts over the underlayer. So like it's very light, but it still has pockets and it's very breathable and it still covers everything that it needs to. Uh, and if it's not warm out, I wear a full coat and a t-shirt uh, over top of the long sleeves. So yeah, I, I usually, my arms will be covered by a black UV resistant under long sleeve shirt while wearing a t-shirt over top. That's the usual. And then the fingerless gloves and the balaclava. Dress up as an EXO or a, or a mech suit for Halloween. I do want to go to conventions like uh, anime conventions and gaming conventions and stuff like that. I've always wanted to do cosplay. Obviously, my cosplay is very limited. Well, not really. The truth is, I can do pretty much any cosplay. I just have to wear like SPF 5 million if I go outside. And I hate sunscreen. I would rather wear this suit every day than wear sunscreen. I fucking, I hate sunscreen so much. I hate the way it feels, I hate the way it smells, I despise it, and I want nothing to do with it. I would rather wear an entire suit and be looked at like I'm crazy by a bunch of old people. But the thing is, I perfectly line up for a lot of cosplays wearing a full suit. I could cosplay as pretty much anything that's a full outfit. I could cosplay as the Doctor from Ark Knights, which is one I actually do want to do. I could cosplay as any monster from any game, pretty much. Uh, anything that wears a full suit of armor. I would love to do the, uh, uh, Artorias cosplay or an Elite Knight from Dark Souls cosplay. Oh! Hello! Action skeleton just dropped down from the ceiling to threaten me. Or, like you said, I could do a mech. I could totally do an Armored Core cosplay. I could be an Armored Core if I wanted. Anything that by default already wears a mask, I'm perfect for. A cosplay I would love to do. I would love to do Gabi Maru the Hollow from uh, Hell's Paradise with his full outfit. Since he wears like the face covering. This guy's so big, his hitbox is holding back his friends. See, there's silver, silver linings. Not everything can be negatives all the time, guys. Yes, I'm probably going to end up in a wheelchair, but look at the bright side. I'm going to get assistance on my housing because I'm, med like, legally and medically limited on how much I can work. 
I'm going to be given a grant from the Multiple Sclerosis Assistance Foundation to make my house wheelchair accessible for free. I don't have to spend any money. While I'm stuck dealing with... Oh, it's just a dead guy in there. I, I'm able to pursue my, like, free time passions because... I'm medically limited on how many hours I can work. Well, I would love to be able to just work enough hours to own a house by myself. I can't. So, might as well take the benefits, right? Even more- Ooh! Ooh! Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme! Gimme, 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 gimme it! Gimme the flask! Whoa! That's not a flask! What the hell? Blood star. It's not going to give me any information. Oh, my ex selector upgraded. It will continue to grow. <gasps> Who's the stereotypical annoying woman in your country? I think they were Karen. Yeah, Karen's. I've had to deal with a couple Karens who are like, Why is he wearing all that stuff? Why is he wearing all that stuff? And, and every time people, like, people ask about it all the time. I feel bad for my coworkers because they've had to explain it so many times. And they're like, I wish people would just stop asking. It doesn't bother me. I've said this before. I feel pretty lucky. I couldn't care less about what people think about me. Or what people say about me. Or what people, like, I, I don't care. People can say whatever the hell they want behind my back. I don't give a shit. As long as I'm getting paid for my job, there isn't a single thing they can say that will affect me in even the slightest. But apparently, my poor co-workers keep having to explain to every single new hire why I'm walking around dressed like a stormtrooper from Star Wars. Yeah, my sword's bigger now. Cool. I didn't realize it would grow like that. Fascinating to use a wheelchair in a carnival that maybe because I was faking being sick. Yep, I, I've I've seen stuff like that before. I saw somebody, they uh, got out of their car and got into a wheelchair instead of going into the store that I work at. And a guy came up and he was like, "You're part. You're fake. Why are you faking being in a wheelchair? There are people who actually need to be in wheelchairs." And, and, and they actually have to use that parking space and you're faking with it. And the guy just said, I have nerve damage. And the dude just shut up and walked away. <laughs> and I was like, fair. Do what you got to do to shut them up. They don't actually know anything about what's going on. I got stuff in my home for too long and I don't understand how the world works. Someone please help me. I'll sell furry art to have money and move out of this country. Fair. I've had customers and family members before be like, why are you wearing that? And I'm like, because I'd rather wear this than sunscreen. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? I have multiple sclerosis and have no immune system. What do you want me to do? Just walk outside and get skin cancer? That's asking a lot, buddy. You saw that happen on YouTube Shorts? Apparently it happens a lot. I, I, I would hate being approached by people as a regular thing. I can only imagine how many times per day people who actually have like nerve damage in their legs have to deal with people just interjecting like that. That sounds like the worst. Hopefully I never have to deal with it. But also again, like I said, I wouldn't care. If somebody approached me, I'd bullshit them as much as I could to make the most out of it and make it as funny as possible for myself. I'd totally like lead people on who the hell are you guy I gonna steal your stuff a lot of people are entitled yeah I've, I've gotten to experience that but thankfully like I said a lot of the would-be stigma I completely skipped because I went blind during COVID I'm pretty lucky I'm sure as the years go on and people stop like move past all of the masking and stuff I'm sure 
it's gonna change and people are gonna start going, why are you still wearing a mask? Until then, I'm fine. My name is Marcus. You're looking for weapons of Promius, aren't you? Well, if you find any, don't expect to get away with them. There's no way to escape from this country. Came here to find Promius too. Now I just want to finish off as many demons as I can before I die here. You should definitely have a Promius weapon if you plan to survive. I have one. I discovered mine way up north, but I hear there are some around here too. I've also heard that there is a dwarf living here who can make a weapon out of raw Promius ore. I wonder if I can find them. Have you heard of Garen lizards yet? Evil creatures. They dwell in the north and prey on the dwarves. They, there may be some around here. If you ever come across the Garen lizards, pray that you die quickly. I suppose the weapon making dwarves may have been eaten by the lizards. I hope not. I'm telling you, I'm becoming a villain. I've been feeling like a villain. I've become completely desensitized to making children cry. Children will cry and I'll laugh. And the truth is, oh, this is locked. There's a lot of stuff I could get away with if I wanted. Really, I don't know why I don't. It's some weird, like, I don't know if I'd call it chivalry or a code of honor that I have. I, I could get so much because of my diagnosis for free if I really wanted. I could park in, uh, I, I could get a handicapped parking tick, uh, thing if I wanted. I should, and I am planning on getting my windows tinted so that I don't have to, or like getting my windows treated so I don't have to wear my full outfit while I'm out and about. I'm gonna heal up on this in my car at least, cause then like my car will be protected from any UV. I'm trying to think while talking. Sorry, I'm not good at this. Think that's called integrity? Maybe, I don't know. Like right now, I am I have the diagnosis. I have crippling insomnia, I'm constantly tired and I have headaches and, and light sensitivity. But I, I don't need to get the parking or the handicapped parking space. There are people who are worse off than me who need it. If I really wanted, I could probably live off of government checks. But like, I have goals and stuff. And I don't want to. I, like, I, have, I have things I want to do. Plus, I feel better about myself working than if I didn't work. Yeah, there are times when I hate my job, but I feel I, I feel like I'd atrophy if I just stayed home all the time. Yeah, I could dedicate a lot more time to streaming, but I feel good doing my job. I can go home and feel like I did something with my day, which is something that's really important to me. And I think the reason why I can't justify, like, just holding up in my basement and doing YouTube 24 seven and stuff like that is because I'm not being paid for it. If I was being paid, I'd totally just 100% dive into it. Made a single D's nuts joke in the parking lot with my family. So I came up to me to let me know that they don't think I should be allowed to say that to family. I called them a loser and laughed at their face. Hell yeah, man. Weird activist groups and political movements. It, it's what it is, is it's not any specific political group. It's radicalization. So many people have completely come to the consensus that it's okay to actively wish harm upon and worsen the lives of other people just because of an opinion that might slightly differ, no matter what that opinion is or an action that might slightly differ. People need to start acting with some level of fucking integrity and, and mutual respect, man. Live and let live. If they aren't actively harming other people, who gives a shit what they think or do? Just... Drives me nuts. Whenever people get so overly self-righteous that they feel... Like, like a couple, uh, not, not too long ago, we, I had a whole video and I talked from multiple streams on this, the whole Twitter bullshit. 
Like all these people are sitting on their asses, probably on their toilets or on their couches. Treating other people like dog shit because they just feel like they could get away with it. Scum of the earth, I tell you. Absolute scum of the earth. If you actively wish harm on someone else for thinking a different way than you do, shut the fuck up. <laughs> like, man, you need to be fucking bitch slapped. You need to wake up and realize that you're not a main character. Everybody is living their own lives and has to deal with their own shit. And because they don't go about their life in the exact same way as you do, is not grounds for you to treat them like dirt or worsen their lives. That's, that is fucking, that is childish. That is childish and pathetic. People aren't afraid to disrespect. It's fucking ridiculous, man. I can't imagine actively wishing harm on someone else just because they have a different political view or moral standing than I do. If if they're like saying that we need to kill people, yeah, that's fucked up, but they aren't. They'll just be like, oh, I, I, I voted for this person. Okay. And? You're acting like every politician isn't the exact same. Making blind random promises that most likely won't be followed just to get your vote in the first place. People act like who someone voted for in politics or whether someone eats meat is going to kill people. It's not. Calm down. Take a breath. Take a step back. Like, I'm, I'm not even 25 years old yet. I'm, I've gone blind. I've been told I'm going to be in a wheelchair. I've been... <laughs> I've got through so much shit. The last thing I care about is what your political views are. Just shut up. Play a video game. Breathe and relax for once in your pathetic life. Just have a good time with people. Man, don't be an antagonist. It's not hard. It really isn't. I'll never understand fucking drama bait and, and the infatuation people have with any level of drama or discourse that happens, whether it's in a political field, online, or even with like people in their own f families. Tell us how you really feel. It, it pisses me off. There are people who have actual problems in their lives out there, and these self-entitled assholes Act like their whole world has been ruined because someone doesn't completely conform to their ideologies. I'm here to play fucking video games and relax with people on the internet. I am not and will not be a part of any of their political bullshit. I don't care what side they are. We're here to play video games. We're here to relax and have a good time. That's the way it's going to stay. And if anybody, anybody, I'm saying this now and I, you can quote me on this. If anybody, anybody in the future tries to say, oh, you, 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 you've made it, Phantom. You have a bunch of viewers. It's your moral obligation. It's your moral obligation to suck my dick. Shut up. Don't tell me what to do. Don't tell me what to think. I'm not going to tell you what to do. I'm not going to tell you what to think. Fucking get off Twitter, go touch some grass, eat actual food, and shut up. <laughs> Want to live a normal life, but everything is decaying. Don't know what to think about people not Yeah, it's... Don't worry. The world isn't ending. The world isn't dying. Like, just calm down. Take a deep breath. Everything is going to be okay. You're, you're... Everything is going to be fine. You're going to survive. If you... I, and, and I'm not talking to you guys, but this is in general. If you run into somebody who does not think the same way as you, 
who does not act the same way as you, who does not believe the same religious stuff that, that you do, who does not have the same moral stance on hunting and agriculture as you do. Your world is not going to fall apart. You are not going to die. Just like they won't. Because you have differing opinions. Just leave it at, leave it at that. If you genuinely believe in something, push for it. But don't fucking be an antagonist about it. All you're going to do is turn people against what you believe in. You are actively negatively impacting yourself. And that's the goal of half these people. They want to negatively impact the view of what they have because they want to radicalize people. Enough. I, I don't care what side you're on. Stop being a radical. Period. Most people in the world, most people are genuinely smart and reasonable people who are not going to be this fucking ridiculous, okay? But the people that are this ridiculous are the loudest. They are the whiniest, loudest crybabies that the world has ever seen. It is actively pathetic. I could not imagine being that much of a child in my adult years. It's, I, I couldn't live with myself. I'd look in a mirror and I'd get depressed every time. Where am I going? <laughs> I guess I can't get to the other spot because of the traps. I'm, I'm gonna go over here. You're gonna be okay. 80% of the people out there like 80 percent of the people are reasonable but they're quiet they keep to themselves they live and let live it's the 20 percent that are screaming and crying and flailing their arms around and smashing shit like a four-year-old that's upset because he didn't get the tonka truck that he wanted from the fucking candy aisle at the target i'm making sure i'm going the right way Take solace in knowing that even though those people are really fucking loud, the truth is they're insignificant. Nothing they say and do can hurt you because they're a bunch of crybabies that are clinically uh, or chronically online. They don't actually have a real life. They don't have a grip on reality to any degree. And... Their cries and screams and wails will be forgotten in the grand passage of time because they're insignificant. Take great pride in knowing that nothing they do or say is ever going to actually matter. And they can cry and scream all they want if you just choose not to listen, it's wasted breath. Which is funny. One. Yeah, that, that's the purge. The purge is when, like, they're like, all crime is legal for 24 hours. And the whole idea is everyone gets gets it out of their system. And then they behave for the rest of the year. It was always a weird... I actually liked the first purge movie. Every purge movie after that was ass. What are those weird worms? Purge on the international scale. You act like there aren't places in the world where the purge is a constant everyday thing. Geneva suggestion. <laughs> Let's see. There was a path I could go over here, but I don't remember where it was. This. I'm trying to, I think this is the right way. Broken shovel. Empty. Skeleton with a red gem.
This is the path I was thinking of. The dwarves cave. Do I have my gun? Which one? This one? Oh. Whoops. I accidentally just saved my game state. Uh, this one? Yeah, I have it. Of course I do. You know, I keep that MF and thang on me. No, I'm a, I'm a legal carrier. If I wanted to have a gun, I could. I don't. But I could get one. I'll need the gun, okay. Where I live, um, where I live, we have a really bad fluctuating problem with wolves and a deer. Like every year, either there's way too many deer and everyone's getting in car accidents, or there's way too many wolves and there's no deer. Uh, so our state's agriculture department actually really leaves it up to us as the citizens to kind of do population control. So me and my family, we, we hunt. We hunt deer, and then we properly butcher and eat it. I, I've, I've had people on the internet that find out that I hunt, and they act like I just shot their dog in front of them. It's the funniest shit. Man, it's a pocket rocket indeed. So I, I have gone through all the proper uh, gun training. I have a license to have a gun. I don't have a license to carry, but I have a, a license to uh, own a rifle. I own a couple guns. I have three guns, each of which are for different things. Uh, I have a 12 gauge shotgun, which is for pheasant hunting. I have a rifle, which is for deer hunting. And then I have a 22 rifle, which is for dealing with pests. Another big thing that our state has a really big problem with is porcupines. Porcupines are a very invasive species that can kill entire forests. Same with beavers. We have a lot of uh, wetland that is at extremely high risk of being destroyed by too many beavers. So uh, that's where those kinds of guns come into play. We also trap. They eat weird things. Yeah, I eat a lot of weird things. Most things taste like chicken. You're not entirely wrong. What are these weird worm things even? I don't want to find out. Hellworms. They dwell in the land of Garen and have large strong jaws with big poison teeth. Hellworms consume the earth as their source of nourishment and oftentimes for deity and other forms of jewels can be found in their bodies. Interesting. Huge feral dog problem. Yeah. We, we uh, occasionally will have really big bear problems as well. We have a lot of bears. Now I am completely of, of the belief that when properly licensed and used for a, a good reason, guns are not a bad thing. As somebody who has had a uh, deer run out in front of my car, well, uh, the deer population was a little too high, I can say, not a fun time. As much fun as a car being completely totaled because a couple hundred pound animal decides it feels like the road is a good place to stand in the middle of the night is, it's not fun. I one shot those skeletons now. But rest assured, guys, don't worry. 
I'm never gonna be one of those YouTubers that suddenly start getting in all sorts of weird random bullshit drama. That ain't my thing. And anyone who tries to start it is a fucking dumbass if they think I'm gonna actually partake in it. Oh! It's the lizards. Lizard man! Smart gun for home defense. Interesting. I can't say I've actually heard about that. What is that about? I am just cleaving. These worms are not really a threat at all. No, oh wow, really? That's actually really cool. Hey man, if the if my state will allow me, I will happily arm myself with a sword instead of a gun. But apparently, combat with medieval weaponry isn't smiled upon by the government or something. I don't know. It's the dwarf! Hello! I don't feel like making anything. Please leave me alone. Look, my son died because of that bedamned weapon I made. If you want it, take it. Let the curse be on your shoulders. I buried it with him and threw away the key. Must warn you though, no good can come of that insidious bow. Okay. God, you're a big crybaby. Why can't you? I don't know. Ask state legislature. Apparently, like... In order to, it, even even if someone, even if like castle doctrine allowed it, you can't use like swords and spears and stuff to deter uh, home invaders and stuff like that. Shortcut. That shortcut leads back. Interesting. Why not a sword? I don't know. I say if someone wants... Ah, never mind. Somebody wishes to wish me hard, or wish... If someone wishes me harm, I would rather have chivalrous battle than anything else. Wouldn't you guys? That'd be so much more fun. And so much more interesting, too. Guns are boring. I was saying that in the other stream. I actually do want to, like, learn martial combat with a weapon. Fight home invaders. If it were me, I'd bust out the window the moment I hear someone step on the stairs. <laughs> Don't you want a man got shot by an arrow because he was trying to get in a house and steal things? Yeah. I watched a video that was kind of interesting. It was this lawyer talking about a clip someone uploaded where someone was trying to kick down their door. And you know what they did to drive away the home invader? They uh, took a pot of boiling water and threw it on the guy the second he got the door open. And the dude went running away and apparently, completely legal. So keep that in mind. If anyone tries to break into your house, throwing scalding water on them is legal. <laughs> According to a lawyer on the internet. Don't know how much he can be trusted, but hey, I, I'm not a lawyer, so... Anything I say, anything I say on that could be used in court. Yeah, keep that in mind. I am not a lawyer. Do not take this as legal advice. And if you try to sue me, uh, you're stupid, and I don't like you. 
Nothing illegal about that. The tomb of Raji. Tomb of Raji. Who's Raji? Self defense is getting weird lately. Yeah. The laws are weird in general. One thing I'm really excited to do once I have my own house, I'm gonna automate the shit out of it. Everything's gonna be smart. Smart lights, smart, smart doors, cameras, everything. And I'm not gonna use some stupid program like fucking Google. Like I would trust a corporate entity with information regarding my home and its contents. I'm making my own stuff. Everyone's best friend Google, you know? We have a basement? We'll find out. There's a few things that I refuse to uh, negotiate on when it comes to the house. One, obviously, it's going to have to have wheelchair accessibility, but that's something I can do. Two, I need a specific room that I can use as an office. For YouTube and other shit. Three, I want a bathtub. I haven't had a bathtub in years. Yeah, that's kind of a weird loophole in most laws, isn't it? Like, even if they attack you and break into your house, if they survive and you used a certain thing to attack them, they'll, like, they can sue you for it, which is the weirdest shit in the world. Imagine being sued because someone broke into your house and tried to kill you. Imagine. I, I can't imagine what was going on in the lawmakers' heads when they decided that. That's locked. That's locked. So much is locked. God damn. dream that someone just walked into the front door of your house. Can happen, don't leave your door open. Yeah, not legal advice. Were they chill about it? When they walked into your house and took your TV, did, did you like try to stop them and they just went, you're like, oh man, didn't know you were chill like that. Yeah, pretty chill. <laughs> Alright, there's two paths right here. If a man walked through my solid front door, he could take whatever he wants. I don't think I have any control over that. Where you are, oh yeah, I know what you're talking about. One of those dreams where you like try to do something, but you just can't, no matter how hard you try. I hate dreams like those. Oh, it's a golem. Kill these guys quick so I can kill the golem. Ow. Oh. He's charging up a, a poncho punch. 
Oh, he died in two hits? What? Woke up, screamed in anger, realized it was a dream. Got better. That's the classic. Another save point right here. This is like two steps away from the other one. Weird. Hearing noise on the roof. You got animals up there? It's me. <laughs> Bone, what are you doing in Sunby's roof? So what? I kind of want your guys' opinion. What do you think would be a cooler cosplay? If I do do cosplay at a convention. Should I be like the doctor from Ark Knights, which I practically already have the outfit for? Should I be an armored core? Should I be something more monstrous? Like, I don't know, I could be like Fatal Sticks from League of Legends or something. Or should I go like full knight? Raccoon, I don't wear clothes. Boom. That's indecent exposure. You know better. Ow, that hurt. Monstrous armored core? Hell yeah. I'm really excited to play the next Armored Core games. Woo! Got a Firestorm. Oh, I still have a Wind Crystal that I never used. And a Power Fruit that I never used. Have your fun, don't eat my chicken. <laughs> I'm trying not to get lost. This place is really confusing. These single textures, they make me bug out. Grab everything? I feel like I missed one thing of loot. Oh well. For legal reasons, that's a joke. Yeah, for legal reasons, disclaimer, I'm not a lawyer. Don't know why I need to say that, but. Okay, gimme loot. No secret guys hidden down here. This music is gonna drive me insane. I'm gonna lose it. What the? Water crystal. Well, I feel like I've, I've explored everything, but I didn't get anything. I just found a grumpy grumperson. That's it. He's the Sire Squouch. <laughs> ah, yeah. Bigfoot from the critically acclaimed classic, GTA. 
One of their best original characters. Nothing in here. So many dead ends. Kill the mosquito. Yeah, Bone, you're already there. Go kill that mosquito for Sunvy. Otherwise, you're not getting paid. Bone's got a point, you gotta continue the bloodline. Gullick shop, who the hell? Hi. Welcome, weary traveler. You must have come far to reach such a desolate place. Come, have a look at the some of the rare treasures and collections I've acquired from far lands and distant places. This needle contains Orladin's power. It can restore anything that has become petrified. Didn't know that was a thing. Orladin's key. Door and chest key. This key is needed to open the door at the temple of Orladin, and it's also needed to open Orladin's treasure chest. I mean, can't not buy it. This is a Morning Star Sword. Morning Star Sword. How about that? It is the power of light. Oh, there's a bunch of stuff. Dragon helmet. In the ancient past, the soldiers known as the Dragon Knights wore this helmet. It has a high defense. That, that's a lot of money. Alright, let's sell. Can't sell that. It's not worth anything. You can sell the Blood Star. I'm gonna sell it. I don't want it. Bracelet, silver ring, gold ring, map of Verdite. Increases eye. At least by each of these. I'm just short. Is that, that really all? You're just a shopkeeper? I feel like I was supposed to... I feel like I was supposed to get something here. I feel lost. Where's Lynn? I haven't seen her since the start of the game today. I miss Lynn too. Dead end. Dead end. I turned too early. 
no, you can't have her. <coughs> I will not give her up easily. She's my childhood friend. We have history. Lynn Hot indeed. My bronze skinned beauty with her green hair and her elf ears. Give me what I want. I feel like making anything. That's nice. That's nice. That's nice. That's nice. That's nice. That's nice. Fuck you. You grumpy old fart. You beauty, I don't feel like making anything. Hearing weird noises with the wind. Explain. Dead ends. These are all locked. You dance so long taking you. Yeah? Why would I pay attention to your context? Give me one good reason. One. Even a single. I feel like... All of these... Why are all these called... Cave of the Slime. This place is a cemetery for all dwarves. At the demise of all but two of the dwarves and Garen. The slimes began to multiply in the damp, empty caverns. No one would come around to the cemetery anymore. Mm. Mm. I don't know where to go. Man, I feel lost. This door is locked. I feel lost because I don't have Lynn, huh? You're probably right. I've explored this whole area. And I effectively got nothing from it. I mean, that's not true. I got the key and the needle. But have we even seen any petrified people in the first place? I don't remember seeing any. And Lumen. <laughs> You're the most important thing in the world. And them. And them too. I can't forget about that. <laughs> what was the name of the chick from Armored Core Project Phantasma? Yeah, Sumika. There we go. Ew, poker puns and thongs, gross. Hell nah, that list ends. 
Thanks. I swear to God, this music is eroding my brain. My men- like, I was talking before I came to this area. I was talking, I was getting in conversation with you guys, and ever since I've come here, I'm just losing it. I feel like I'm losing my mind. of Warren. I can't use this, can I? Nope, there's nothing to do that on. I'm so angry I even switched to Spanish. Must be real angry. I don't... Ever, ever since I hit this area down here, I've been lost. Okay, there are two paths I can go. There's a town over here. This way. No, nope, turn too early. Hey, I got another power stone. fruit, I guess. Alright, random village. Give me what I'm here for. Give me what I want. Give it to me. Please. Tony Gomez and Priscilla Gomez. Priscilla? Hello, lady. Hi. How did you get here? Tony went over to the river, but she hasn't come back yet. There are monsters everywhere. Tony said to wait here, but I'm scared. Can't even go outside of this area. All I can do is wait. Tending my parents' garden helps me for- Oh, this is a child. Scratch everything. 
Uh, scratch everything. I didn't say anything before this. Tending my parents' garden helps me forget. Then I remember that they're never coming home again. I wish Lord Varric was here. He was a great swordsman from the north until the bad guys turned him into stone. My sister went to find a magic needle. She said that if she could find it, it would cure Lord Varric. She's been gone for so long, though. I'm scared that she's not going to come back either. I just realized something. I think I used it, didn't I, on accident? I did accidentally use it. I have to go get another needle. Oh my god, after I came this far. What if I reload the save? What if I reload the save? Phantom cut. Wrong, wrong, nothing. I didn't do anything. Didn't even insinuate anything. I did nothing. I'm an angel. I've done nothing wrong. You shut up. Ah, I went back too far. That's okay, I only missed one room. I can go by the stuff and make my way back. This is still faster. The only thing irrefutable here is your mom. Got him. We've already been over this. Of course I'm evil. I'm a villain, not a monster. Gimme. Quick, Bon, use this in a reverse gun. It's the only way to counter your mom. Absolute skill issue. Trap card, magic cylinder. I play Pot of Greed. This allows me to draw two cards from my deck. If I spend another second in these caves, I'm going to rip my own ears out. This place sucks. My pathetic grandpa's deck has no cards, Kaiba. But it does have the stoppable Exodia. Ah, possible. Best version of that main bar none. Let's see. I have all these crystals. They can pop. Power flask and blue potion. I can buff all my magics. Don't they illegal if they catch you? Me, 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 me. <laughs> True. Bon, she followed the Nuno reverse card on you. Should have accepted it from her whilst it was still being off offered. 
Alright, let's sell a bunch of shit. Let's heal up and top off. There you can go. Alright. 58 power, 3 wisdom, level 23. I don't know what built is. She's got you, man. What do you what do you even say to that? Do you explain your your threat? Because when you have to explain your threat, suddenly it's less scary. It's less threatening. A skill issue. <laughs> Sounds to me like a skill issue, friend. All right, and then all the way at the end of this, we go forward, turn right, go forward, enter a room, turn left, turn into the leftmost passage immediately, and then that leads to where we want to go. How rude indeed. You're just being a rude dude right now, Vaughn. I hope you know that. A rude ski dude ski. <laughs> By the British. British? You speaking bloody British, bruv. Uh, pip pip cheerio, governor. God save the queen and whatnot. Alright, now give me your bloody hell. Give me your, give me your info. Oh, good heavens! Tending my pants, my teeth, went to find a magic needle. My Varak was nice, the boy... And boy, was he strong. He fought off the monsters for a long time before they got the best of him. I wish Tony would hurry back. I hope you <laughs> You think Tony is okay? Nope. I think Tony's dead. And I think you're abandoned and an orphan. Bye. Imagine being an orphan. Skill issue. That one was bad. <laughs> I apologize to all orphans.
Hurry up and die already. Finally. Now what's Batman gonna do about it? Tell his parents? Rude. Well, this is a pointless endeavor. Ghost. Bonk. There's a well. And another well with a bunch of ghosts. Okay, checking out the map. There's a river. I can go more north or I can cross the river. Well, I'd cross the river if I could, but I can't, so. Your gold, ooh. Cash money. Here comes the money. Money talks. Here comes the money. Oh god, that's the special kind of ghost. so dark I can't see shit what if I use magic to make light Need more MP uh, moonstone okay this counters the spell at least to some degree Oh. Oh, are you this? Guy? Yay! I freed you. Lyle? But how? Tony? And she is responsible for saving me. Thank you. Thank you for delivering me from a living death. A fate worse than a thousand deaths I must have witnessed in my stone pri prison. I was on my way to the castle and I remember a demon suddenly attacked me. I held them at bay at first, but then they turned me into stone. How ironic. It is to be rescued by someone who I was supposed to help. Take this. It is the wing of Icrius, which if which I have received from the king. You will be a king soon yourself. You must take care that nothing happens to you. The wing of Icrius. I finished my task at long last. How painful it has been watching my friends and soldiers dying all around me. It was truly a sentence worse than death. Even when Sylvia came here, I could do nothing for him. He went into the castle alone. He had decided that the only way to stop this madness was to kill the king. Did he ever return from the castle? I feared he wouldn't. I would have liked to have gone by Sylvia to fight by his side. Going back to sleep. Oh. Sorry, rabbit. Thanks for stopping by. But I am old and there is no way we can go to kill the king for what he has done. I will have to leave everything for you to carry out. Meanwhile, I will stay here and protect these children as best I can. How pitiful that I was so turned to stone. I mean, you're not wrong, but at the same time, don't beat yourself up over it, dude. There's only so much you can do about being turned into stone while you're, you know, stone. 
All right, I'm one Icarus item and one spell type away. All right, let's save. <laughs> I farted. <laughs> You're welcome, guys. Anyways. How long does this fucking darkness last? It's lasting so fucking long. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I am four years old. What about it? That's kind of weak. Come on, man. Don't do me like that. Bro, come on, man. <sighs> Damn it, man. Why you gotta why you gotta play me like that? It was not weak. That was funny. Come on. Of course, you managed to find a way to turn a fart joke into shaming me. I hate these guys. They take way too many hits to kill. It was funny, but it's still weak. Man, fuck you. <laughs> Bastard. I dare you belittle my humor. How dare you. In my own home. Ugh, this village is fucking huge and it's surrounded by these root monsters. I don't know what the fuck they're supposed to be. They take so many hits to kill. Man, I can't see shit. Do I have any dark or bloodstones? No, I have no way to... I guess antidote cures it. That's all I care about. How much do I want to kill all these guys? Like, I'm in the firing range of like six of them at all times. Fucker. Oh, you bastard. Fucking ghosts. These ghosts are so hard to see. Man. How much does this cost? What did I use to heal it? Blessings. Blessing heals me and cures my ailments. These ghosts. If I put on the boots, does a path open up? 
no. Did I really just get hit as I was... I can't see shit. This is so annoying. Like, I'm not even taking damage. It's just taking so much just to be able to see. I hate this area. I hate this zone. This sucks. They just shoot it out so fucking fast. I don't even get a chance to do anything about it. It's the house straight across that I haven't checked yet. Anything in here? It's a ghost. I leveled up. That cave over here. Oh, this is how I get over here. How the hell am I supposed to get over there, though? I mean, I guess I got over here in this courtyard. Water crystal. Use item, let's increase our water magic. Do I have any damaging spells that involve water? No? Okay. Avoid the ghosts, avoid the ghosts, avoid the ghosts, avoid the ghosts. I'm actually really focused. This zone. It's annoying. But I actually kind of like it. It's annoying, but at the same time, it's like kind of my fault that it's annoying because I'm not dodging the things. It's not some undodgeable thing. The only thing I don't like is the fact that the ghosts are practically invisible. I mean, yeah, they're ghosts, but if they can hit me, I should at least be able to see them. That might be a hot take.
What's over here? Dead body. Oh, silver ring. That's 3,000 gold. Whoa, a lady. Hello, lady. Lord Varek has done so much for us. Thank you so much for your help. I think he's going to be okay now. I wish peace would return to our village soon. You're welcome. You don't have anything for me. Who the hell are you? Tony Gomez. Oh, surviving her parents with her sister Priscilla. Tony is trying to protect her sister by rescuing Commander Varek. She prays for peace to return soon. And she does not know how her family made its fortune. She holds a rare item. Can I have it? No? Okay. Let me look at the map. I've almost explored this whole area. Now hold on a second. It shows a bridge on that lake. There was no bridge. I even tried putting on the Aquarius, Aquarius uh, boots. There was no bridge. I'm confused. Anything in here? Nope. Nothing. This is, as annoying as these ghosts are, they're better than the ghosts were in the first two games. The big sock puppet looking guys, I thought those were the dumbest enemies. They looked stupid, their attack pattern was stupid. What a fucking sad little house. Two little stools. Hello, how's it going, gaming lab? Bleh. Sorry, Plazy, how's it going? Alright, supposedly there is a bridge. According to the map, there's a bridge. Village of Kaysen. This village is protected by the old swordsman Oliver Varick, and by the steep cliffs surrounding the village. For a while, villagers here enjoyed peace even after King Alfred's transformation. Okay, what if I switch? Your exams are over? Hell yeah, man. That's awesome to hear. Oh, sure enough, there is a bridge. What is this? Vaculacia sword? Thanks for the information on it, game. I really appreciate it. I need to equip it and see what happens if I swing it. Really slow swing time. Really slow. I wonder, can it do anything magical? Nope. 
At least not at this level, it can't. Not too sure where to go from here. Well, I feel like I've gotten pretty much everything I can. Well, maybe not. There's a little bit of stuff over here. Whoa! We need to go get another needle. That's a Dark Souls 2. Dark Souls, or not a Dark Souls 2. Dark Souls 2 is a reference to that. With the monsters that can be freed from being turned into stone. I can heal up fully. Yeah. Right, let's pop the rest of these blue potions. How's my day? My day's been pretty alright. I worked. Played some video games. We've been blasting through this. We've got a font of magic and another Icarus part. I just need one more Icarus part and one more font of magic. And then I'm going to be set. I'll have everything according to the beginning guy. I'll be able to make uh, my sword, what it's supposed to be. Wrong key. So we're making progress. It's been a little confusing. These three zones have been a little bit mismatched. They don't feel as linear. Not linear in like a, oh, just go here, do this, do this, you're done sense. But linear is like a, this is where I'm supposed to be. This is where I'm supposed to go later kind of sense. that makes any sense at all. I need to go get another needle. Thank you. Thank you for helping Lord Varric. Did you see my sister? Do you think she'll be back soon? Yes. Did not mean to click on her again. Let's go get another needle. It's awesome that you're done with your exams, man. I always hate exams and tests. It was tedious and annoying more than anything else.
I've been running around this place so much that I feel like I know it's layout by heart. At least most of it's there, layout by heart. Buy another needle, and then run all the way back. Another needle. Um, I'm gonna sell silver ring, and I'm gonna sell gold ring. Ow. My ankles. Ugh. I gotta adjust myself in my chair. Hopefully there's actually something worth getting behind that petrified plant. If there isn't, I'm gonna feel kind of stupid for having ran all this way. Seems so out of the way. Ouch, I hiccuped while talking. Ow, oh, I hiccuped while talking again. Ouchies, oh, that hurted. Only thing that's kind of annoying. I don't know who I'm supposed to get the third part of Icarus from. I have the eye and I have the wings. I'm short something. My knuckles. He's awake. They must have got her. Rest in peace. 
I'm sure she's all right. You know how annoying people who show up for stuff at your house can be. Oh, shit, there's a big tunnel. Oh, it's a new area. Nah, -uh, she's back. Welcome back. Whoa. Oh, that hurt my eyes. Bird people. Why is the world so cruel? supposed to arrive at 9 p.m. Yeah, that's a little late. Whoa. Butterfly wings. Polaris, also known as the Ice Demon. It has the powers of wind and water. Under the king's power, it killed many people before the day of the seal. Since then, it has been frozen and will remain until his master's command awakens it. Well, that's concerning because it's free. Which means its master's command has awoken it. Got chicken legs. Okay, you can sprint up it. Good to know. Good to know. You can sprint up the hills. I'm surprised they had you guys pay full. Considering they were, you know, an entire day late. What is this kill? It's called Polaris. They've got chicken legs and like elf heads and stony flesh and butterfly wings. Apparently it's an ice demon. have loot. They did. Wind crystal. What about in this barrel? And a water crystal. God, I'm just swimming in items. Wise fruit. Cause intelligence to increase. Water crystal. Wind crystal. And I have fire resist. Do I have any stronger spells now? No? Okay. I guess not. So be it.
Sorry about that. We're cooking chicken. Dev wanted to know if the chicken was cooked or not, so I had to check. Anything over here? Ooh, a save point. And yes, I'm eating it. It's mine now. <laughs> Can you guess whatever that thing is? Why would you want to kiss the weird thing? The weird... Um, I don't know. Rock butterfly chicken smurf elf. It looks gross. Creepy and weird. All right. Let's check the map. A little more I can go. I'm gonna loop all the way around the whole edge if I can. Obviously into ugly bastard. Uh oh. Oh. Who is this? Was that Lynn I saw in the window? Oh, Lynn, my darling. It is. Are you? What's wrong? Are you, are you okay? I'm so glad to see you again. I need to be around here somewhere. You look like you found some trouble. You should be more careful. Here, take the key to my house. Go there and look for my staff. The king gave it to me as a gift, but I have no need for it now. Take it with you for protection. Maybe it will bring you luck. Hmm. This is where I grew up. When I was a child, Marilyn used to operate the inn here. My father and I used to stay at this place while we traveled. This is where he said he was going to go just after Prometheus, just before he vanished. This area used to be lively and warm when I was a child. Of course, I always wished that you would come and take me away someday. My best friend, the Prince of Verdity, I was jealous. I wanted to be a princess. It's happening. Is that a love confession I hear? I know you'll have to leave soon as well. It's been so long since anything I remember of my childhood. It's been so real as to stand right before me, speaking to me. Everything is different now. Please be careful. You know, on some of our walks, Alexander gave me a ring. He said he found it at the Dragon Spring. I'm so happy to receive that ring. I looked up to him so much. He was so kind and friendly. He put a charm on it for me. He said, if you ever want to see me, wear this ring and come to the Dragon Spring. I will be there. Alexander is dead now. I can never see him again. Oh, well. Thanks for stopping by anyway. Take care. If we get through this someday, I hope I'll be seeing you. Maybe at the castle again, like in the good old days. Maybe we could even... Well, anyway, thanks. <laughs> Talking to me like that while sitting on a bed of all places. So scandalous. So scandalous. I like the determination. I can respect that, Lynn. Seal. <coughs> can I can I read this please? The land of Garen. That's our bed. That's my bed now. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody wants to continue the royal bloodline, if you know what I mean. Alright. Well, I should go get that thing that she gave me. Now I'm feeling like a hero.
You did put it in a language she can understand, but I don't know if you said what you thought you said, but... <laughs> also, look at this. Almost looks like a heart. Key for the door. This is the key for the house of the elf merchant Lin. The elf merchants usually carry unusual. Here's a question though. Is this talking about her other house or the house there in that town? I have this book, but I think something in it is wrong. Yeah? It makes you think that? Mmm, that chicken is really good. Yeah, no one can take that from you, Bone. You try. Here, I have a piece of chicken stuck in my teeth. Tried saying phantom cock blocked you in Spanish. Okay. This way should lead out. So lead to Lake Knoll. I wonder what drove Alexander to become evil, though. Get poisoned at all? No, it's good. I was just saying, the chicken tastes really good. You missed. Throw on the aquarium boots so I can see the path. <laughs> he spit it out and said bad words. Oh, yeah. No. Now she confessed to me. I must continue the royal bloodline. to her house in the village. I have a feeling she's talking about that one. Otherwise, I'm running all this way for nothing. I like that they had a, a stamina meter essentially in this game, but it doesn't, it doesn't run out. <laughs> nah, dude, I'm going to do a lot more than kiss Lynn. You, you want to know what I'm talking about? Look at the compass. Look at the compass. Yeah, you know. <laughs> Yeah, you know. <laughs> I 
I don't know what you're talking about, Lynn. I just walked in there and she just started throwing her, or <laughs> Lynn, Sunby. She just started throwing herself all over me. Oh, you're my fan. I'm gonna send a nice message, exactly. I don't know what she's doing there, though. I'm kind of worried that they're gonna do like a twist where she's gonna be a bad guy. Because how the hell did she even get all the way over there? Wasn't the path blocked off? Alright. It's Lynn's bed. Wrong key. Either way, equipment, silence rod, doesn't even say what it does. No, no, I don't even know how to use it. Please stop. <laughs> the accident was seven years ago. I can't keep blaming myself. I see, my bad. You're all just fragments of my broken psyche. I've got like three phones surrounding me. I'm pretending to be all you people. I actually have no views. No viewers, nobody's actually watching the stream. I'm not even actually streaming. I have OBS open, but I never pressed record or stream. Negative one viewers, yep, just like that other stream. Aren't I supposed to be... Sorry. Aren't I supposed to be looking for... The Earth Magic font? Where the hell am I supposed to find that? I thought maybe I'd find it in the Dwarven area. But... The Dwarven area is a dead end. That's what I get for eating my sister's food. Uh oh. You gonna be alright? Are you deathly allergic or do you just like get itchy? Because <laughs> apparently I'm somewhat allergic to some uh, sunflower seeds, but most I'm fine. I don't know what was in those sunflower seeds that made me react. Shit says, yeah, that's the way I get. Everybody starts screeching and getting all itchy. Sucks. Hate that feeling. Make you a cake. Preferably without sunflower seeds being involved. The only thing I'm like quote unquote deathly allergic to is um, Ambien. The 
sleep medication. I have severe hallucinations when I take that stuff. That was fun to find out. Alright, I, I didn't finish looking around the area that Lynn's at. That's why I'm becoming a villain. I'm a villain, not a monster. You don't want my health. Okay, you might want my Arknights account, but you don't want my <laughs> I only have some stuff on my Arknights account. Just some. I don't even play Arknights. I, ba I barely even play Arknights. I noticed all the ghosts are gone now that I freed that one guy. I have dibs. Yep, when when I eventually succumb to my AMS. Bone King contractually gets my Arknights account. Sorry. My health currently isn't all bad. Like, I'm not in a good spot, but... <laughs> I currently can see, and I currently can walk. So I'd like to look at the bright side and think that I'm doing okay. Piss fountain! Gotta drink the pee water. Dragon pee water. Which is interesting, because Seath is the one who had the dragon pee water. But Seath is the only dragon that's still alive. So... Unless someone else is making Alexander go crazy. What the hell are you doing up here, lizard man? Lizard man. There's a whole bunch of lizard men. Are you still in here? No, she's not. She left. Oh, what's this? Lynn's note. Lyle, I found the path to Garen. I know it's dangerous, but I must go to find my father. When I find him, I'll bring the crown back for you. Uh-oh. I gotta... I gotta save her. Then you should have just gone with me. You're you're like a week late, buddy. I need a key. This is one of the three seals of Icrius. It will lead to the fountain of healing. Seal. How do I open that up? I gotta save Lynn. I'm not letting her die.
Welcome back, Dakota. You missed it. Lynn confessed her feelings to me. Whoa, is that a giant? Oh, there's so many different monsters here now than just the weird bird people. Oh, that hurts. I'm going down here into this quarry. Anything down here? Um, I don't know where to go. I see like a staircase in the west. Sorry, I'm eating. Oh, it's still warm. Turn around completely. I'm gonna go straight. Who the fuck is Dibs and why are you calling them? She's got a point, man. Oh, this music's different. Ew, the place looks like it's made of flesh. The Passage of Death. Shortly before his downfall, the king had several items hidden in this passage and set traps up to protect them. Since that time, he has sent many people to the path to retrieve them, but none have made it out alive. God. Those are traps. Um. Run, King. Run! Ah, oh, no! How far back did that send me? I didn't expect it to do 170 damage. Okay, it didn't send me back at all, but I'm back at the start. I should have just healed up to full health. So how bad for you? <laughs> She's not wrong. Oh jeez, I hadn't saved in so long. get Lin's key again. Hey, Lin. If I just see you again, I knew you'd be around here somewhere. If you found trouble, take the key to my house, go there and get that. This is where I, this is where I grew up when I was a child. Marilyn used to operate the inn here. My father and I used to stay at this place. Sarah so used to be lively and warm. I always wished that you would come and take me away someday. My best friend, the Prince of Verdity, I was jealous. I wanted to be a princess. They'll have to leave soon as well. 
Uh, everything's difficult now. Please be careful. Uh, one of our walks under and Alexander gave me a ring. He said he found it at the Dragon Spring. I was so happy to receive the ring. I looked up to him so much. He was so kind, friendly. He put a charm on it for me and said, "If you ever want to see me, wear this ring and come to the Dragon Spring. I will be there." But Alexander is dead now. I can never see him again. Oh, thanks for stopping by. Anyway, take care. If we get through this someday, I hope I'll be seeing you. Maybe at the castle again, like we know all the good old days. Maybe we could even. Well, anyways, thanks. Just be careful, my old friend. Yes, ma'am. I think I gotta run all the way back in order to trigger her leaving, don't I? Ugh, that sucks. This is the path. It says specifically the land of, like, that's where I want to go. But how do I break through the seal? That's not fair, you're cheating. You're cheating, Bone. Time to get the gun, I'm on it. Rax bullets with devilish intent. I have to break that seal. How do I break the seal? Can you guys think of anything I've come across that breaks a sealed passageway? I can't. Power of friendship, huh? I don't know if that's gonna work. There is still a section of this dungeon I haven't gone through. Not the poop shiv! Jolly Rancher Shiv. The Baby Bottle Pop Shiv. What can break a seal? I feel like having the Earth Magic would break that seal. But I don't have it. I haven't come across it yet. I also am still missing a whole third of the seals of Icarus. Poop, what? The poop shiv. That knife made of poop. What do you have there? A knife! No! Bob. 
ba, 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 ba. Lord have mercy. Because he's a freak, a weirdo. If the Lord was here, there wouldn't be a poop shiv. <laughs> God's love has limits. <laughs> I'm a creep. I'm a weirdo. Love that meme. I love that cat. Yeah, so what? I'm a creep. I'm a weirdo. I don't belong here. <laughs> You know we're in the darkest timeline when Bone when Bone pulls out the poop shiv. Truly, this is the darkest timeline. <laughs> My plant. All right, here. Give me a moment. I gotta use the bathroom quick. I gotta take a quick bathroom break. You guys can listen to the funny background sound of the game. I will be right back. Give me just a second.
Okay, come here. Okay, give me a second. Sorry I'm taking so long. I brought my phone with me. I got a message from my doctor. And I should probably respond to it while I can. So give me just a second. Sorry guys, this might take me a moment. Hopefully you guys can at least enjoy the music. Just give me like five minutes. Okay, sorry about that. <clears throat> okay. Here we go. Okay, I'm back. We're good. Sorry about that. I apologize. Okay, let me let me catch you up. Real quick, I've been up for 20 hours. Jesus, man, I mean, you have a good... <laughs> I'll be back out in a sec because I'm just moving spots. Sounds like nap time to me. Yeah, man, you should get sleep if you're too tired. Unless you're trying to change your safe schedule. How are you getting sleepy? Alright, I'm leaving. <laughs> I guess all I had when you were moving. Guess lemon. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm here. All caught up. Sorry about that, guys. Real quick ended up not being real quick. Okay, so we're missing a few things. 
Now, we have two pieces of Icarus. We still don't have the earth magic. I feel like that would be in the dwarf place, wouldn't it? That's what I thought. I feel like I need the, the, the rock magic to unseal the door. And I'm not even sure it will lead to a fountain of healing. What did I just do? Where am I? Whoa, what the? Invisible, wait. Wait, what? What happens if I use this one? They teleport you? This goes... This is, this is by the... I could have teleported? I didn't have to walk... Oh my god. I even read it. I thought it, I thought it meant once I get all three. <sighs> I thought it meant once I get all three pieces, it will bring me to the, oh my God, man. You're fucking with me. You're fuck, you're fucking with, there's no way. Don't you dare say big. You didn't know either. This is like right outside the spot, isn't it? If I go right over here, it's the tunnel. Yeah. Oh my god, man. You're fucking with me. Shit, dude. There's a save point over here somewhere. I don't remember where. Did you ever find a bow? Yeah, I have a bow. The, the dwarf guy talked about there being a really strong bow. But I never got into his thing. I don't know how to. I don't want to go to the passage of death yet. That seemed really strong. Also, all the birds being replaced with these giants kind of sucks for me. There's a save point like over here. I didn't really explore this area too much. I probably should, shouldn't I? I even was talking earlier about how I was like, it's kind of interesting that they don't have any teleporting keys in this game. They did, I just wasn't using them. Wait, where's the save point? It's on the other side of this wall. Was there anything over here I missed? Danger, do not look. Nope, I'm not risking it. I don't want to fall. I don't see anything down there. Save first. Fun is a liar. Your group just bailed. You could leak military secrets. Yeah, you could leak... Uh, military secrets in a discord chat Can't possibly see how that how that could possibly go wrong Okay Len I really hope she's fine
Lyle, I found the path to Garen. I know it's dangerous, but I must go find my father. When I find him, I'll bring the crown back for you. I have to save her. This is sealed. How? D the land of Garen. Back. No. No, that's not doing anything. Can I like try and? No. I don't know how to... Uh, I don't know. Man, that's so annoying. Do I have to go to the dwarves again? The one guy didn't really sell, like, anything. something oh oh there's there's just a button um okay <laughs> oh, okay there was just a button on the wall that wasn't there before <laughs> I didn't see it did you guys see it Apparently, I just missed the doorbell, yeah. Valley of Garan. This land was rich in Promius, the sacred metal of the dwarves. Many dwarves used to dwell here, but now only two remain. The others either fled or were eaten by the Garan lizards, which ate dwarves as their staple food. Alright, there's a bunch of paths. Oh, these are just going to be tunnels, aren't they? Mining tunnels. Yep, I'm expecting dead ends. Oh, I saw green. I thought it was a Verdetti. I'm coming, Lynn. Oh, big mushroom. Big mushroom gone. Big mushroom dead. Dead as hell. Little mushroom dead as hell. It's a lizard man! And now you will die, lizard man. How? Hey you, how about you stop spamming your spells, you little shit? Sitting back here, don't you have a mana meter like me, huh? You can just keep pressing it, huh? You're dead as hell. Okay, that just went through a wall. Now you're just cheating. Check the map. I'm still good. Skeleton.
I need to get the other piece of Icarus or whatever. I still haven't found it. I'm worried I'm supposed to have it. But I haven't come across any other gold fountains yet. down. I'm getting lots of gold. 4,000 again. The skeleton didn't scare me. Yeah, I'm getting used to it. I'm not going to go down there yet. Oh, it's just a normal bow. It's nothing, nothing special. Okay. Either way, I guess I'll go down here now. More lizard boys. Lots of these lizard boys. This leads to a dead end, so I'll go this way first. Ouch. Bastards. Ouch. Can you guys die? There you go. Uh-oh. That's a golem throwing rocks. Healed myself up to full. Blessings is strong. I'm in the middle of one of the longest fights this game has offered me so far, and I have not been keeping up with chat. I'm gonna have to take a second and catch up. You better drop me some good loot, big rock guy. Yeah, he leveled up. Ooh. Magic learned. Chromius! This is the very special precious metal handed down by the dwarves. It makes excellent weapons as well as armor. I wonder if I can bring it to those dwarves and have them make it. Okay. Even if I wasn't on Discord, I don't <laughs> gotta worry. I listed it as a liability due to my diabetes. That's one way to do it. I'm the only male heir to my name, so they couldn't... If they get me again, if they want to... <laughs> parents say you can be anything. I want to be a tactical battle tester. That's what I'm talking about. It's a lie. I once wanted to be president. There's a requirement where I need to be born in the USA to be eligible to be president. I was born in Germany. Damn, man. Then I wanted to be a soldier. Then I got diabetes. <laughs> Whatever you do, do not w want to be the scientist that cures cancer. Because with your... With your track record, if you asked to be that, you'd probably make it worse. Oh, save point.
monster energy. With all these lizards everywhere, I kind of... How far did Lynn get? She only came here looking for her dad, right? A dead end. A skeleton! Ah! Sorry. I thought I was finally done being afraid of the skeletons. Turns out I was wrong. Well, at least I got Promius. I wonder if I bring that to one of the dwarves if they'll make me something. Watch her be the final boss. I'm kind of worried that she's gonna have like a dark twist or something. I hope she's not. She finally confessed her feelings for me. I want her to be my queen. My bronze-skinned babe. My childhood friend. She wanted me to come and steal her away. That's what she said word for word. Knowing from software though, they're gonna be like, she loves you. And now she's dead, and I'm gonna be no. Nah! They're working on owning a computer building business. Crazy! I'm literally doing that. The place that I live doesn't really have any pre-built computer stores or anything, so I'm gonna sell computer packages and build them for people. But I don't know how much money I'm gonna make, so obviously I'm not quitting my job. I'm technically doing three jobs. My actual job, working on starting a company, and YouTuber. YouTuber. YouTubing. As a streamer every day. Daily streams and uploads. Like, comment, and subscribe. Whoa. What the hell? Is that a turtle? Shell dragon. Resembling a big turtle. Shell dragon is impermeable once in a defensive position. Because of his defensive shell, it is also impossible to attack from the side or back. Not to worry, a front attack won't hurt much. Interesting. I don't know if I have to kill it or not. There's another turtle. Uh, there's a lot of turtles. Oh. A vampire cyclops monster thing that looks like it came straight out of RuneScape. Back to full health off of one cast. I'm not I'm not casting my wind blade anymore. I'm saving my mana for that. That's way too good. Peaches. I can't hear the word peaches and not think of the Bowser song that everybody's been putting on their YouTube shorts. Lynn! Oh my god! Lynn! 
Uh, can I, can I? I can't use magic? She's just dead. She has a knife. Um, what, what can I do about that? There's nothing? That's all I have to say? Fuck, I used the truth press. No, it doesn't, it has nothing to say about her. That's so weirdly unceremonious. You motherfuckers. How dare you? My babe! Ooh, what, what the hell is that? Can I please hit this guy? I'm hitting him head on, he's not taking any damage. What the fuck? What, what did I just get? That looked like a helmet. No? Oh! I got the crown! Lead to a fountain of healing. What fountain of healing? I, I gotta I gotta finish exploring around this place. She's gone. What the hell is going on? She's just gone. Something's not right. Something's not right. Something's not adding up. Why is she gone? Where the fuck did she go? I found the crown of Icarus, but it was taken away from me. I can't find my father. Boy, it's been rough. It's Lynn's message. Ow. There's gotta be something else here. You missed... body go? That doesn't make any sense. That's more Promius. Oh my god. I'm like actually kind of in shock. But her body just de fucking spawned. Oh, my face tracking's bugging out. Give me a second. But here's here's the thing though. Like, even where does this key go? The crown. If the things bring me to 
fountains. What fountain is it going to bring me to? Oh, turtle. I can only hurt you by hitting you from the front. Bye, turtle. I also got her ring. Didn't I? The one that she was talking about? Yeah, Lynn's ring. Whoa! What did I just get? Crowned all male. I have lost my bow. I haven't been able to locate Promius. I'm gonna try using this. Fuck it. Where's this gonna bring me? This music's different. This area is new. Maybe I shouldn't have popped that item. H hang on, hang on, hang on. Hold on. Here, take the key to my house. What did she say about her ring? Just before he vanished. This area used to be lively and warm when I was a child, of course. Blah, 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 blah. I always wanted to be a princess. Gave me a ring. He said he found it at the Dragon Spring. I was so happy to receive that ring. I looked up to him so much. He was so kind and friendly. He put a charm on it for me and he said, If you ever want to see me, wear this ring and come to the Dragon Spring. I will be there. Where's the Dragon Spring? Isn't this a Dragon Spring? Where does this lead to? I feel so suddenly on my heels. I can't go anywhere from here. But wait, I have all pieces of Icarus's thing, right? So I can... I can go back... I gotta go talk to that guy in the start. I gotta go talk to the guy at the start. He said, bring me the sword. And the three pieces of Icarus, right? Right? Or did I need to get the magic? I can't remember. feels so weird that she would just despawn like that. 
I tried to interact with it. I tried using stuff on her body. Nothing happened. But the thing is, this isn't the first time we found a dead body in a Kingsfield game. They never despawned before. There's the guy outside of Necron's arena in the last game. There was the guy's kid in the first game. We found corpses before. Let's see what the guy has to say. I got all the pieces of Icreus. And I haven't gone to the death passage yet. And I still haven't gotten to earth magic. There's so much that's just missing. And I don't know if I just missed it myself or what the fuck is going on. Nope, don't use that. Something is not adding up, but I'm I'm racking my brain. What have I forgotten? I need earth magic. I can't just not get that, right? Then again, maybe it's behind that turtle. Maybe it's behind that turtle. I don't know. Like, bodies exist. If she really was just dead, I don't see why From Software wouldn't, wouldn't just leave her body there. gonna make some tea you do that if your throat's bothering you part of your works in this miserable beast infested kingdom yeah people like you come along occasionally peddling hope for a better future i hope you can bring peace to this place you say that but you're still going to charge me a fucking arm and a leg for anything and everything you have aren't you i want that crystal flask Chromius is worth a lot of money. How do you make your tea if I drink tea? No, of course I don't microwave it. Yeah, you just boil water. How would you even get water to be the right temperature by microwaving it? That doesn't make any sense. There are people who do that? That wouldn't work though. Like, how would you... Because the water has to be boiling. Do they put the pouch in the water and then microwave it or do they microwave the water first and then put the pouch in it hey Zekan, how's it going all right 
whatever your name is. What's this guy's name? Leon, I think. Hey, Leon, I have the three pieces of Icarus. I can't remember if you wanted me to get the three pieces of Icarus or something else. No, it's not because too much. We, we beat the first trilogy for Armored Core. So now we're playing something else today. And then we'll play more Armored Core. I feel like I'm missing out on a lot. I really feel like I'm missing out. Leon. X Collector does not give out enough power yet. It needs to grow a little more before it can exhibit true power. Return when both you and the X Collector are ready. So I have to level up. I came all the way here for nothing. Okay, I'm I'm gonna Nothing happens. Where is this dragon shrine? Now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish exploring that area. I'm gonna finish exploring that area first. And then we will... And then we will figure out what we're doing from there. I feel like if I bring these pieces of Promius to the dwarves, they're gonna make me something. But I still need the earth magic. I don't know where the earth magic is. I feel like I've looked everywhere. I feel like I'm missing a very big piece of the puzzle. If I had that earth magic, I wouldn't be feeling with this way. But I don't. That one's not. Okay, I haven't gone straight this way yet. I'm gonna kill that turtle first. Ah, oh, but I can't hit the turtle from this side, can I? No, I can't. I gotta get to the other side of the turtle. No, I gotta kill these guys. My ex elector needs to get stronger. You're being a bitch. Now that? not giving up hope. Call it copium. I'm not giving up hope. There's gotta be something. Something's wrong. I don't know if I did something wrong or not, and that's what's stressing me out.
I hate these lizards. Killed Lynn. You motherfuckers. You motherfuckers. She was the only person that was actually kind to me. Everybody else won't stop nagging and bitching until I fix all their problems for them for no pay. She was different. Wise fruit. There's the front of the turtle. Hi, turtle. Just hit me with two spells before I can even fully see, you bitch. survive that. Trying to do a doggo? I doubt it. <laughs> Save point. What happened? I don't know. We're, I, I still don't know. I need the earth magic. I thought it'd be with the dwarves, but it wasn't. On top of that, there's so many treasure chests that have been locked. I feel like I'm missing a key or something important. It was in a full loop. That's everything here. Where's this dragon shrine? The dragon spring. Maybe I haven't come across it yet. But I have no idea where that crown takes me. So, I'm going to the dwarves. I'm going to the dwarves. Thing is, all the spellcasters, they've had their magic in very specific places that has something to do with it. Water Mage was at Lake Knoll. Fire Mage was at the barracks of the castle. Wind Mage was in the wind temple in the fucking wind forest. Like, it all made sense. I, that's why I thought for sure 
the earth magic would be in the earth place, which is the dwarf places, but there was nothing in the dwarf lands. I'm a bad influence to the kids. Uh, oh well. I'm sure I'll, I'll survive without the kids. <laughs> Eat him. So you're not becoming the avatar? I'm trying to become the avatar. But I can't find the Earth Kingdom. There are no firebenders in Ba Sing Se, or there is no war in Ba Sing Se. There is no war in Ba Sing Se. Well, there's also the chance that it's up there in that north part. What's wrong with you? You have an animal in front of you and you instantly want to put them in a pan and eat it? It's called being hungry. It's the human condition. so many locked chests, but I don't have a key for it. Alright, let's talk to the dwarves. Let's talk to the dwarves. Let's talk to the dwarves. Dwarves, 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 dwarves. When it, when it's talking about the, uh, the Dragon Spring, is it talking about the Dragon Spring at the very, 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 very beginning? Or is it going to be something near the castle? Hey. Jens is a skilled blacksmith, but he only makes armor nowadays. He used to be a master at creating weapons too until Rochi was killed. That last weapon he made was by far his greatest and most powerful weapon. He also will be food, so. <laughs> I've carefully crawled through so much dungeon. Can you get the hell out of my way? Huh? Can you not block the whole path? Oh, I turned too early. Ah, that's very touching. That's the more reason. Yummy, 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 yummy. <laughs> I'm telling you, I I feel I feel like I might have done something wrong. I actually do. It's kind of stressing me out.
probably just missing something. Hey you, I got all this stuff. You have a rare and unusual object. I don't make weapons, but I could make protective gear for you. Okay, cool. Wait here a while, I can't make it that quick. Something. I don't know. Thinking as hard as I can. Oh. Maybe, maybe in this area I missed something because I did kind of just jump through this. Cave of Slimes. Maybe one of these slimes drops something. I don't know. Oh, well, one did drop something. Now I'm really nervous that I skipped a monster at some point. I took my chickens. Man, you're... <laughs> Yozo kind of sounds like a badass. Skeleton. Herb. <laughs> 
Nothing. No civil wars with El Chicken. There's a few more corners that I can check. This path. Leveled up. Going these goddamn slimes. Strength up. Check. Secrets? No? I felt like we were making really good progress at the start. Oh! Oh! A key! A key! Dwarves key. I was missing a key. And it did drop from a slime. Can I leave out this front door now? I can. Now, what what about that room that's behind the dude, the guy? Not there. It's this tunnel. Is there this one or the next one? It's the next one. I actually found the key. Hello, guy. Can't make it that quick. Well, where's your son's grave? I finally feel like we found something, but I don't know if it's actually going to lead to anything. Forward and to the right at my first chance. in peace, Raji. Yeah, give me that. Oh, that's the guy's son. Oh, fuck. Didn't give me the <laughs> earth spell. Earth magic and imbue thing. Fuck. Still not what I'm looking for. I 
And I go talk to the dwarf, and if he has nothing to say, then shit. I'm just straight out of luck. Hey guy, found your son's grave. Oh, I guess he can't make it that quick. Nah, 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 whatever the fuck you say, you old fart. <sighs> you know what I'm gonna do? Since I don't know where to go from here. This will tell me. The Hill of Prayer. Upon this hill, just outside the outer wall of the castle, King Alfred and the Queen offered a prayer for peace. Since then, the hill has been called the Hill of Prayer. Alex's tomb is located on this hill. It is a sacred place. Sacred, that's why it's full of monsters. Running around to map the whole place out so I can look at the map. Safe point? Yeah, safe point. Okay. Something doesn't feel right though. I still feel like I'm missing something. You know? Maybe. Maybe I am just missing Lynn. Do I just have to, like, farm EXP until I can talk to... to get... Oh! Hello? Sal hasn't come back from the castle. He was serving there as a member of the King's Guard before the darkness came. Then the King changed. Sal was frightened for his life. One day he snuck out of the castle. He had only... Returned to look for his friend End, but now I'll fear I'll never see him again. He left saying you have no need to worry. How could Alexander have sealed the whole castle? Didn't he think about the others he would trap in there? Only the king's wrath as their with only the king's wrath as their reward. I hate him for what he's done to us. If you're going to a castle, I've hidden a key that you may need. So ask me to keep it safe. So I hid it in the cemetery. Please rescue Sal. Take good care of yourself. Well, why'd you go hiding it? Bitch. What an idiot. There's too many graves to check them all. Are you kidding me? Like a billion fucking graves.
Also, what if I use light? Can I see further? No, everything just gets a little more vibrant and saturated. Moonstone from that corpse. Well. Did, oh! Did the moonlight sword? Um. Where is Toothquest? Ah, it doesn't say anything. Hmm. I found the Moonlight Sword. Can't get it. Holy mama, that's a big guy. Guarding the key? so much health. Just gold? No secret doors, no nothing, just gold? Well. Sealed. Oh, this connects to here. This is the trapped dungeon. So I'm able, am I able to skip this? Hold on. I, I'm going back to this. That was like another 15 minute stream tomorrow. I, I, I'm hoping not.
I don't know what to do. That would be hilarious. But <laughs> I hope not. That is not the plan. Not at all. Uh, I'm gonna... Let me open up my thing. Okay, what's everything that... What's every loose end? Okay, so there's rock magic. Or earth magic. So we gotta figure out where the hell that is. There's the passage of death. There's this new place, hill of prayer. Lady's key. She was saying to get the key. Uh, Lynn's ring. Moonlight sword. Sealed door. Is there anything else I'm missing? Can you guys think of anything? I'll wait a second and see what you guys have to say. Field of Ice. Yeah. Isn't that the place where Lynn uh, was when she gave me her note? Ah. Uh. There's also a place past the passage of death. Do I just have to go through the passage of death? <laughs> it looks like it. Can use the wings to TP to Carson close by. Okay. So, opening up my list. Um, let's prioritize passage. Passage of death. Uh, use wings. Wait, do you have the crown? Yeah, I have the crown. I just used it to teleport to... Where is this? Whoops. Sorry. Might, so I might disappear. That's alright. Uh, I used it to teleport here to the Hill of Prayer. Yeah, don't worry about it. I, I gotta think. Contra TPU past the Passage of Death. Yeah. That's, that's where I am, because down that staircase would lead me back into the Passage of Death. But there's a locked door, and supposedly there's a key hiding somewhere.
Just as last as you then, all you know is the castle. Let's just go through the passage of death. I I really don't. I'm thinking as hard as I fucking can. I can't think of anywhere else to go because the, like there's the guy. I feel like I should have the fourth magic by now. That's what's annoying. I feel like I should have the fourth magic. Maybe we should stop. Maybe my brain's just frazzled and I need to take a step back. It has been a five and a half hour long stream. I'm like mentally recapping the whole game. Like, way back at the beginning, Yvette Bint. What the fuck is this? Key of the corridor. Key to the door. Is this the door? Key to that door we were just at? Is that the key that the lady was hiding? What was I talking about? I was talking about... I I'm gonna go try this key on that door. Back in the beginning, first we started off being told that we need the three uh, thingies. But the guy's now saying that X Collector needs to be stronger. So maybe I just got to farm. Maybe the, the Passage of Death will be a good farming place. Um, on top of that, we went into the garrison, got the fire. Went into the forest got the wind went into a dungeon and then to the lake got the water and then we've gone through like six areas today none of which actually nothing happens okay like we've gone through like six areas today none of which have actually brought us anything like we we continued lynn's quest line that's about it. Like we, we got the Promius in order to make the armor. Aside from that, go back to start and do a sweep while killing everything. Yeah. It's so tedious, though. <laughs> it's just the earth magic. That's the only thing I feel like I'm missing. Blessings. What about here? It was well, yeah, this is the passage of death. This is the passage of death. I'm on the other side of it. Ow. 
That was instant. I feel like I just gotta go through the passage of death. Preferably from the normal way. Passage of death indeed, indeed. I'm not sure. I almost feel like I should stop. I almost feel like I should stop the stream. Not out of like, not out of frustration, but like we've been going for almost six hours and I feel lost. I feel overwhelmed. I feel confused. Breaks are important. Just really trying to rack my brain. I think we will. I think we'll just take a break. I just need to farm. I need to get my sword to level 3. Because it's only at level 2 and I got the 3 pieces of, of whatever. And it says, if I look at this. Special weapon, the second stage of Leon's greatest sword has grown 26 centimeters and it weighs 1.6 kilograms more than the first stage. It will continue to grow. It will continue to grow. And that's what Leon was saying. Leon was like, oh, your ex selector needs to continue to grow. You have to get stronger. And maybe, maybe we just got to beef our way through a passage of death. I'm not sure. Either way, let's I think I'm getting too sucked into it is the problem. I'm <laughs> ever since Lynn died, I've been like really sucked in and I feel like I hit a, a wall and I want to like push through and keep going. You know what I mean? It's the same thing that happened with, uh, with Elden Ring when I first played through it. It's the sign that the game is really good. It's a sign that the game is really, really good because I'm getting ingrained in it. I'm not thinking of it like levels wise. I'm thinking of it like I want to keep pushing on. But I feel, I feel like I'm, I've got too many avenues. I feel like I'm missing the earth magic. I, I need to get my weapon stronger for Leon. I have the passage of death to do. I, we figured out the, the dwarf stuff. I no longer feel like I missed anything with the dwarves. I feel like I got everything with the dwarves. Um, but now we have this prayer hill place. And I still think there's a part of the passage of sea thieves. Like at the northernmost, I feel like I didn't even explore all of it yet. You know? So I don't, I don't know where to go first. Here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna list it all down. I'm gonna list it here on the stream so that we don't forget it, okay guys? I wrote it down in my self message thing, but we're gonna do it right here. The Sonics, size 48. Okay, here we go. So, North Passage of Thieves. Passage of Death. Um, Rare Hill. After Passage. X Collector. Upgraded. Leon. A uh, lens ring, dragon fountain, and then earth magic. 
Maybe the earth magic is in the Passage of Thieves, and I just missed it there. There's a chance. Here for the goodbye. Sounds good. That's gotta be it. It's got. It has to be in one of these places. It's not in Prayer Hill. I've looked all through it. I didn't find anything. I found the Moonlight Sword there. It could be in the Passage of Death, but why would it be in the Passage of Death? That doesn't make sense. I don't know. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. I think I was rushing. I was getting frazzled because I'm rushing. Because for some reason I was feeling like I was getting near to the end. But obviously I'm not. I still have to upgrade X Collector. I have to figure out what to do with Lin's Ring. I have to figure out, we, we, I'm, I'm just happy that I found that stupid fucking key in the dwarf area. It's, it's the first game all over again. There was one plant in the first game. It was the only monster I didn't kill, and it was the only monster, it, it had a key on it. It's the exact same thing that happened in the first game. To, to, to a T. I'm not complaining. I'm perfectly fine with the game being longer. I'm having fun. I actually am really enjoying it. I'm just surprised at how long it is compared to the other games. Is it still PlayStation 1? Man. I can't believe Lynn died. That sucks. Classic from software. <laughs> Give flashbacks to Fia, man. Give flashbacks to Fia. No, stop taking my women from me from software. Stop it. You monsters. Even in the 90s. Oh well. We'll be back. <laughs> we'll be back with this. Uh, we're going to figure it out. We're going to figure it out. That's what I told you you can have her. <sighs> her body despawned, man. Her body despawned. It has to mean something. It has to mean something. It, it's not copium. I'm not huffing copium. Uh, thanks for helping, guys. <laughs> I feel like I'm losing my mind in a really good way. The only thing that's putting me off is I really feel like I missed something. But I also really feel like I checked something. You know? Or not checked something. I feel like I checked everything. I feel like I've checked every corner. I fully checked through the area where Lynn died. I fully checked through the dwarf area now. I fully checked through the lake. I fully checked through the ice field. I fully checked through that other town that had the ghosts. I fully checked through um, the passage of poison. There's that little bit of the passage of thieves that might be something else, but I feel like I checked everything. All the spells have been in a blatant last area. The water place was at the blatant last corner of the lake. The, the wind magic was at the blatant last corner of the wind temple. Fire magic was at the blatant last corner of the, the garrison. It's gotta be somewhere. That's a Ligma Balls joke, I'm calling it. Either way, man. We'll be back. We'll be back tomorrow. I have tomorrow off. I'm gonna go take my meds. I'm gonna lay down. Did I get it right? Was it a Ligma Ball joke? <laughs> yeah, I haven't forgot. I remember you tried to get me with, you just successfully got me with that one before. I learn. <laughs> All right. 
It's 5.30. I'm gonna take my meds and I'm gonna lay down. You guys, take care of yourselves. I appreciate you hanging out. We'll be back again tomorrow. We'll see if I can resist playing this game again. I want to play Armored Core 2, but I also want to play this game again. <laughs> really bad. I want to keep going. I'm getting sucked into it. The first... I beat you next year, you will see, probably. The first game I got super sucked into. The second game, not as much. This game, I was really getting into the groove of things at the start, but now I'm really getting into it. I'm enjoying this game a lot. If I find the earth magic, I'll feel better. What we'll do... Next stream that we play this game, whether it's tomorrow or the day after... We're gonna go check the Passage of Thieves first. If the earth magic's not there, it's I haven't come across it yet. It's just really far in the, the future of the game, apparently. It's gotta be, right? It's gotta be. Because they said that all the magic was sealed in the four guys, and that I had to find the four guys, and they were, they were put in different places by Alexander before he sacrificed himself to put a bubble around the castle and seal the king in it. You know? Right? That's the lore? Alright. Either way, we'll be back at it tomorrow. Thank you guys for the support. I'm gonna work on stuff. I'm gonna get some rest. You guys take care of yourselves. I'll be back tomorrow. Peace. <laughs> this is kind of just becoming my outro thing. Just hitting you with the peace sign. I don't know why. Guess that's it. Eh. <laughs> See you soon, Rest well. You too, Sunday. Thanks for hanging out. We're back tomorrow. I will not kiss Mountain, and you cannot make me. I'd say I'll kiss Lynn, but she's dead. Maybe I'll still kiss her. I don't know. We'll find out. She may be dead, but she's still hot. Phantom, yes. <laughs>